Remember you did that last oh. episode? Oh, yeah. Well, not last episode, one episode. Yo, remember like face? face from Nick from Nick Yes! <laughs> High remember five. Face from Nick Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have face. I have face here. I hate it. I hate it when you stayed home from school and you're like, I'm gonna watch Nickelodeon, Disney, and shit like that. And you're like, fuck Nick Jr. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> but face was real as fuck. Right? <laughs> It was a couple on there. It was a couple. There was, there, there was, there was, there yeah. was. There was. I used to change the channel. So. After yeah. Blue's Clues. Speak, speaking of cartoons, bro, cartoons today, these are the best cartoons ever. Let's, I, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, disagree. I was gonna say which, 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 which what are you cartoons are. Yeah, yeah what, what are you? What, oh, you, what, you, what guys are? You, let's, yeah, yeah. Let's. Let's debate after we introduce ourselves. Oh, yes. It's your mama's favorite podcast. The Physics Study Group. Hashtag TPSG. Funny you talk about moms. another week. How y'all boys doing? You're doing great. Word. Fantastically good, well. Fantastically well. Wow. Feeling great. Really feeling well. good. How are you? What your name is? Ah, I What's see what you did name? there. <laughs> this is Flocka Zulu, a.k.a. Nicodemus, a.k.a. Sir Black did... Santa Third, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. <laughs> Stop it. No more a.k.a. Stop the violence. <laughs> <laughs> y'all did <laughs> talk about Love Below, too. I'm just... Yeah. I'm, yeah. Y'all did talk about that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And it's your boy, Jormatic, a.k.a. Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. Black Y'all Fanakis, a.k.a. Loud Pat Chopra, mm. a.k.a. Wavy McGrady. Mm. I thought you was going to say can't stop the AKAs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's your boy Icing Black, a.k.a. Black Dynamite, a.k.a. Wade Bixby, a.k.a. Holy Pucka Roaches, Holy a.k.a. Shabby Ranks, Shabby Ranks, <laughs> Shabby Rankin, <laughs> a.k.a. Samurai Black. What time? Hey, and it's your boy Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss Army Nigga. Hey! Army Nigga. Swiss Army Nigga. Whoa! Hold the last note. Yeah. Harmonize the last note. Oh, no, yo, yo, yo. Hey. <laughs> hey, we recording that. We flipping it. We sampling it. We <laughs> <laughs> get my royalties on that shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know. I've been waiting for that one. I was like, yo, this, like, when you be doing that shit, I be listening to shit in the car. I be like, hey, this is practicing. That. I can't, can't say the like, N-word, but I'm about it. Swiss Army Nigga. I can't Swiss. say the N word, but I'm all about this shit. <laughs> and I know y'all heard those extra vocals in the background introducing our fabulous guest, the one and only. I've been waiting for this. Hailing from Miramar. Miramar. Motherfucker Miramar. All right. It's my nigga. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm waiting for the AKA. AKA. Hold on, this is the first time I'm hearing this AKA. I want everybody to know that so I do the, the broken. All right, AKA. drum roll, please. I'm let do from us. Uh... <laughs> How you doing, man? Oh, oh, well, man, bro. Okay. Thanks for being on. Ledoux and the broken, hey. AKA the real motherfucking cake boss, AKA hey. the wing stop connoisseur. Woo! Uh, that's all I got. Lemon that's all I do. That's, um, I'm dry. I, well hold done. on. No, no, no. You, 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 if you're doing lemon pepper, you're going to Tootsie's. Tootsie's has the best lemon pepper mm. in the city. It's hard to I haven't had hold on. It's hard hold to on. Hold on. You guys never had Tootsie's. Oh, I haven't wings. had the lemon pepper. It's up there with it. It's, oh, yeah, I was yeah, eating Tootsie's lemon yeah, pepper like, damn, when you stop. Yeah, you no. You know. Like, I'm, yo, yo, listen, 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 fuck the titties. I'm going to Wingstop for the fucking lemon pepper. I mean, Tootsie's for the lemon pepper wings. The titties are nice. That's cool. He said, fuck the titties. I used to go to Coke. Oh, look at the wrong thing. I used to go to Coco's for the Perry wings. I, I used to always talk about Coco's Perry wings. Where, I, I, it, uh, is Coco's still open? Yo, I no, I, I don't, I don't think so. We just seriously it aged ourselves. Let's not tell everybody our age. <laughs> Yo, last time I went there, like, I went there as an adult. I didn't realize small. It was my first time. I walked through the front door, almost tripped out the back gate. <laughs> that shit is small. <laughs> I don't know how they fit a box in the room. I went there the, for my 21st birthday. Do you remember the old Tootsies, though? Yes. Yeah. That was he, right on the with corner. the neon that lights was, next to no, 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 no. So the, the Tootsies now is in where the BJ's was, but the yeah. old Tootsies yeah. oh, was right, on right. the corner of Ives. Yeah. Of Ives and 441. Is. Next yeah, to we're Normans. Normans. Yep. Yeah, we're the, the that Normans Club. Wow. And then, um, yeah. Shot. Yo, niggas used to get shot there. And then, um, yeah. yeah. The neon the light store. Nigga, that was yeah. a neon light store. Like, what the fuck I need neon lights for? There was a neon light store at 441. And Ives there, one ninety nine. Yeah. The market for wow. neon lights yo. was you, you, you uh, back in the day. Yeah, I remember yeah. that very vividly. It's, it's like, like, hey, that's like you, neon yo, lights and um, I put my hands on my hip like, listen here, yo, Hold man. On, I'm, 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 a, I'm a data seller. That's like neon lights and waterbeds. Wow. Hey, you know, you know you water water bed. Bed. I didn't, yo, I, my house didn't I have one, but my godmom so had one. And when we used to, she had a king size waterbed. It was like, waterbed, 
<laughs> like as an adult, I'm thinking about it. I, I think I'd be pissed the fuck off sleeping on a waterbed. Yeah, because I want to be still. Yeah. Like, still. yeah. Yo, I think yeah. every single person who ever bought a waterbed immediately when they got home were like, what the fuck? This was I think, like I, thinking. I think that was one of those late 80s, early 90s fads that just it's just meant to stay there. Um, yeah, we were yeah. finding ourselves Word. as new age idiots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. You know, 100%. You know what, what it is? What is it's I think an alien to Area 51 are looking at it like fucking humans like, are idiots. Like water what the fuck are they doing? You know what it, it sounds like? We got idea. levitation beds. It sounds like, hey, you know, what, wouldn't it be great to sleep on water? It sounds like a good idea. <laughs> But then the execution. The, I remember the execution <laughs> until yeah, it's yeah. two in the morning, and, and then your don't, whole room don't let is you flooded. get don't let you get the tiniest tiniest hole in that oh, shit. Bro. That it shit turned into a tarp. Rap. Bro. <laughs> a fucking Yo. rap. A Yo, fucking rap. My godmother has six kids, all girls. And me and my sister used to go over there on weekends <laughs> with my mom. Why is and we go to jump? I'm really scared of Because it's like <laughs> it's like nine of us jumping. On this water bed, like, and all you would hear is Jamaica, yo, come off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> but at that time, you're like, yo, I'm, I'm, fuck, I'm jumping on water like, right now. The guy who visited it was like, imagine sleeping on water. And he slept on it like, oh, it feels like sleeping on but, water. But, but it was we got, we got to take bed. a tarp from Home Depot, tie this shit up, <laughs> put the Don't water in that bitch, and we going to sell that shit. <laughs> the fuck were y'all imagine. thinking, bro? Imagine. We just talked about yeah, water bed. That's what the water bed is. Nightmares, dog. Yeah, nah, that shit was shit. I'm drowning. Word. Word. You. You're like, get me up. <laughs> you think you drown, and then you wake up to this moment. <laughs> So you still think you drowned in Because you're still going, hey, what if, imagine, we got to do some research. People, you know when you in between sleep and awake and you think the demons got you? <laughs> and you just Hold on, sleep like, paralysis. Sleep really paralysis. All right. Yeah. Imagine so, so, all right, so I've had real. sleep paralysis many uh, well, times throughout my life. So like, count, when you so. wake up, imagine jolting in the water bed, <laughs> but in sleep real. paralysis, and you just like... <laughs> That'd be terrifying. Imagine not oh, being able man. to move. That would be blown like, away. That would be the scariest bed. thing ever. No. <laughs> I, I remember. I remember the scariest sleep paralysis. Like, I'm returning this water bed this mo- tomorrow morning. <laughs> the scariest, the scariest <laughs> sleep paralysis story, funny enough, happened at church camp. Mm. Of course, so of course it. <laughs> we would. were in cabins, <laughs> but I was in the older cabin, like the one way in the back of the. The, the, uh, where property. nobody could hear you or reach you. Where? No, where you nobody can. That's what I called it. The cabins where nobody can hear you scream. Oh, the haunted one. Okay. The haunted, no, <laughs> it wasn't it. like it was a part of the forest. Now. <laughs> it wasn't even a cabin set. You were in forest. Hagrid's The hut. forest became one with the cabin. <laughs> I, I thought I heard it breathe one time. Anyway, <laughs> and I'm sleeping. Hagrid. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, God, for bringing these children to us. <laughs> Jesus! So I'm, I'm having a dream. I, I don't know if y'all remember uh, my old house. Mm. If you can, if you if you stand in the kitchen, you can see the living room. Mm. Yeah. So uh-huh. I'm in the kitchen with my pops, and we look in the living room, and there's a lady in like a all black shawl. I don't want to hear this. Look, oh, yeah. You go ten in a wedding dress. Oh Jesus! And she's just in the middle of the living room screaming. She's looking up and screaming. I'm looking at my pops like, what is wrong? In with your this? living room? Yes. This is in the dream. Hold on. Oh, in the dream. I was going to say, oh, what time of day was this? Oh, no, no. At what time of day was house? this? Listen, listen. This was in the dream. So she heard me and my pops talking, and she turned around and looked at me, and I locked eyes with her. As soon as I did, I woke up in sleep paralysis. That's oh, right. my. And guess who was floating above me? No. Her. I swear to you, she was right there. I was screaming. I heard wild looking, sleep paralysis. I looked around, and then she lunged toward me, then I woke up. I've, I've, heard, I've heard wild no, sleep so you, I was like swimming that. in my sweat, dog. Yeah, no, nah, I've heard wild stories She like was that. right in front of me, lunging I, I wish I had earplugs on just now, because that was... Go to sleep. Hey, don't touch me, bro. <laughs> <What's>, <laughs> don't touch me, bro. Hello, 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 darkness, a whole lot of fear. friend. What, what's, wild, <laughs> what's wild is that you reacted the same way the last time you told that story. And it, really? Got it. Yeah. That's that means how, it was really he told scary. the story. Wait, wait. So, Wait, so that, means, how, that means that, that means, means my brain really chat means is, that means two things. My brain One, chat was forget that, that left an impression on your life, one hundred percent. Absolutely. And two, you're Good fucking job. scared as shit. <laughs> <laughs> you are scared as shit. It's pretty fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That man, that That's man, the scene from my movie. So Call the dogs, come get your man off this set. That man went home, press Control Alt Delete on his. Hey, all you, all, all, all you need to do is get a loan from the bank and make that shit into a movie, and it's done. 
Boom. Hey, I like the way you think. Bro. This is copywritten, patent pending. Exactly. Patent pending. pending. And then we gonna have my nigga Ledu on the soundtrack. Right, bro. You always, you always <laughs> need that white guy in the fucking movie. Exactly. And on the soundtrack. Exactly. We need somebody to talk to the people. Right, for real. Hello, my <laughs> name's Marcel. Right. You trust me, I'm white. <laughs> exactly. Hello. He talks to the cops when they yeah. come. <laughs> no, no, I'm that guy. I'm mm. in the middle seat, but hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're good people. We're good. We're fine. 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 Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Bro, I've, I've known you for a minute, man. For real. I feel like we've, we've gone through several transitions of life. Bro, it's yeah, just year. through just through friends and shit like that. Like eight, eight-ish years? Mm -hmm. Nine years? Like with, it's funny. We know each other through Drew. Mm -hmm. Shout Drew out Drew. Drew. Shout out Dreezy. Word, word. Um, Shout out The Last. The yes. Last. The yes. Last. That's a throwback. Word. Um... Drew shout out I, T. Shout out T. T's right. doing it big. Um, definitely, definitely. T by the way, you gotta call. You gotta put some respect word, on that word, name. By the way, <laughs> by the way, way. Um, we've like I know I knew them boys for like tenish years, so we've got to know we got to know each other around. Yeah. Same same amount of time because I feel like once word. I I kind of dove into what they were doing, they kind of introduced me to the circle and shit like that. So we've got to know each other like that long. Word, almost word. that long. Yeah. Word, word. Second of all. Where did this come from? Yeah. <laughs> I'm I, jealous I, right now. You know what's so crazy is I um even back in high school I was uh you know I did the the, the chin strap shit with the goatee and <laughs> um I just started to grow this shit back in high school but what I did was tape it up a little bit more. I think Ross was becoming a thing back then. And uh, so I would I would tape it up here but I would also tape it up a little bit here so it didn't it didn't do what it does now. So I'd mm -hmm. keep it clean but I was able to even grow a beard back then but um gotcha. Just with like five, I've I've not had. It's funny. Everybody asks me, how long has it taken you to grow that? And I've not had a clean face, like a clean, clean, clean face in like five years. I respect that. Five man. years, yeah. You like I, I mean, issues, listen, man. listen. I've trimmed it. I've cut it. I've styled it. I've done different things to it. But in terms of like clean shaven, five years. Damn. You style it like, yourself, or you go to somebody? Um, no, I go to a barber to get the shit taped up. Yeah, I listen. I've I've tried to do it myself to to get the the curve and and everything, mm -hmm. but I don't trust myself. No, 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 yeah. I can't do it. Oh, yeah, I trust myself with a lot of things. With my beard is not one yeah, of them. I, I, I shake like a stir. True, true, true. Respect no, it's the not, beard. It's not. It's not. It's not even. It's not even the shaking part. It's just yo barbers are artists. Mm, yeah. they're fucking yeah. artists. They're they get paid for what they do for a reason. So you know what? I suck at this shit. I'm going to you. I'm gonna pay you my money Word. once or twice a month and make me look fucking pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a solid six before I go to the barber. After that, I'm like a six point five. <laughs> they, they Easy after magic, the barber. Does he tie you a do rag on your chin too? No, 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 no. He doesn't do all that. How you get that? that? How what? you get that, that wave? You the wave is natural. It? The wave is natural. That's why it look like he oh, tied, dude. Okay. It look, look like he tied. The wave is natural. The wave is natural. natural. So, That's the name of this episode. So, shit. admittedly, uh, like, I have, I have no shame, but, like, um, I blow dry my beard because, and, and I'll tell you this, I didn't start blow drying my beard until, uh, like, two years ago, but I would just literally come out the shower and just comb, 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 but it would take me, like, like 20 minutes to get it dry, mm. to get it all the, the water out, everything, even if I took a towel to it. Mm. And I would only blow dry for special occasions, weddings, mm. things like that. And I was just like, yo, if I blow dry five minutes, my shit is done. So I was like, you know what? Every day, blow dry my shit after the shower. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try that now. Put my products in that shit, blow dry it, and that's it. It's a wrap. So I, blow, I literally blow dry. Because if I don't blow dry it, my shit just shrinks up and just... Sticks to my face and it's mad fucking curly yeah. and nappy. Mm. And then when you bro, shrink, bro. pull it down, it snaps, boy. It's I think this shrinkage is the worst shrinkage. Fuck the other shrinkage. Yeah. <laughs> I, can deal with, I can deal with the other shrinkage. Word, word. Yeah, because they true. see this first. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is first impression. No, that's this what, is first impression. Worry about that. You're like, oh right. my God. Yeah. That's what you gotta, you gotta fall in love with this first before you fall in love with that. <laughs> 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 like, but he does Wise have words. a nice beard, though. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, it's, 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 I'm not even person anymore. I'm just beard. Ninety <laughs> percent like beard. Nah, it's it's G <laughs> shit. I, I think if I if I shave this shit off, like people would be like, oh, who are you? You probably start getting ID. One hundred percent. Oh yeah. One hundred percent. No, the 100%. day I shaved it off, I got ID. The day. <laughs> you I did. It. You I did. believe it. You did look like you just came out of puberty, man. Right. Oh, man. Hi, my name is Ron. Big ass, puberty. He yeah, was like, hi. This is, this is hi. Where, this hi. where your brothers tell you how I they really feel about right? you. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to tell you in private. We're going to tell you why we're fucking recording. Oh, yeah. On a fucking podcast. Yeah. Skip oh, yeah. this. Embarrass so, uh, you terribly. So, as, as far as the music goes, how long have you been like, I mean, even if it's 
since three years old you wrote a rhyme. Like, how um, old have you been? I, I didn't really um I didn't really understand the concept of writing my own shit until honestly high school. Like um okay. you know you hear all the songs like I, I think I grew up on Motown shit, Boys to Men, mm. uh going into the early nineties, uh, actually late nineties, uh the Backstreets, the N Sinks. Um, and sinks the better boy band. I'm just gonna put that out there. Ooh. Argue with your mom. You about to start a fight? We can start a fight. <laughs> argue with your mother. I agree. Th- thank you. I agree. Yeah. We can, we can start a debate. That's fine. Um, I'm really curious. He to said that's fine. fine. That's fine. Yeah, we can yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I'm I'm I'm, I'm locked and loaded. <laughs> Absolutely. Bang on that. Backstreet, had, had, fire, Backstreet had fire, but N Sync was a better group. Um, and they kept coming back. Dirty Pop, I ain't gonna lie, fuck the Dirty Pop. Man. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm, gonna end the debate. I'm, gonna de- I'm gonna end the debate right here. <laughs> Which of the two groups were on 106 in Park while AJ and Free were there? Oh, that's because yeah. of Justin Timberlake want to be black. It doesn't Sync matter. NSYNC was there. Discussion yeah. ended. So <laughs> that's um, the credentials now. <laughs> that's the, I mean, I mean, it's 106 in Park with AJ and Free. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's come on, yeah, that's come on. That's, 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 that's the, the real. Oh that's God. the real 106, right? Yo. That's already Bow Wow. You're yeah, cool yeah. Nah, Bow Wow's cool, but nah, that's, 106. AJ <laughs> Free, and Free had a guest verse on a cannabis album. You know? Yes, come on. And she and she had the best verse. She ripped it. That was one of the best features. Just saying. Wow, that was another TPSG. Wildest tangent. My bad, man. Before we leave 106 in part, I was mad at them. I was mad at them for... for, for, The birthday Remy. Word, word, word. (laughs) (laughs) We don't condone this, but whatever. (laughs) Or whatever. Um, Define condone. I was mad at 106 when they brought on um, Bow Wow and um, Angela Simmons. Mm. Not that I'm I'm hating on them, but they usually because they had like a remember they had like a whole search for the new host, yeah, yeah. and they found two new people, and they were cool, and they literally like I don't even they had it's like not working. they had like two minutes, but and this, like they this is, they this is, this is where you have to understand marketing. What's all marketing? Oh, absolutely. But, but then question. But then it was uh, they like had no one intentions of, are keeping them. Mm-hmm. But like, but that, it was like a tradition no. almost, like, cause that's how a lot of them got like their. Didn't Terrence and um it, exactly that's how Roxy that's what Terrence exactly Roxy, it was yeah. the same it was the same thing they had like a but whole, they had great they after had great AJ event. and Free was leaving they had like who's the next host and they had yeah. a search like Terrence yeah. and Roxy weren't from anything yeah how, that's how, that was their start yeah that was, that was their start but, but I remember. honestly that's a I think Terrence and Roxy were groomed yeah. that that might have been their start. Mm. But I think, and and I'm just. Well, they're definitely right? groomed. Yeah, they they, were I think in, they've they been were doing getting, shit before they I got mean, that opportunity. Yeah, right? but even the new host, because the girl was like, know. um, um, watch Jazzy or something like that. She's still like doing shit, like she was doing mm. shit, like. But I felt like, yo, it was their time. You remember when? You remember when, when MTV did the VJ search, and that that shit was yeah. like fucking huge. Yeah, and the yeah. first, the first VJ was uh, was like a Jesse Jesse Camp, the white guy with the crazy yeah. hair. Wait, like, was it Carson Daly? I thought it was Car- no, no, like Carson, Carson Daly is probably the most thing. popular. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, Carson okay, was already okay. a thing, but they had started the. the it's kind of the same no, thing no, that no. Uh, I think the VJ search was before the one hundred six. No, because yeah, yeah no, nah, MTV so had that. But the the first going. winner was Jesse Camp, the white guy with the crazy hair. Like he looked like crack the fuck out. Mm. I'm sure. <laughs> I, I think see he was. A, wait, I think he was a like, thing. You got yeah, we got to search it. Like he was a thing, and then again, just fizzled out. But I think a lot of people came from that, like. uh Oh, fuck, I can't Dave, remember. Dave, Dave Grohl's or something like not not Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl's is a fucking red hot chili, but not no. They are uh, Dave Holmes. Dave Holmes. Dave, Dave Holmes. Yes, that sounds second. familiar too. Dave Holmes. You'll see, bro. We can look second. at pictures. Yeah, he came second, and but still became something. a thing. Yeah, he became right. a thing on MTV. So low key, Dave Grohl's was. Awesome. You think about John Holmes? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> He's telling you what you're thinking. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's what I'm the most confused about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what Dave Grohl very but, confidently. What the fuck am I talking about? He, is this? But he said it with such That's conviction. Yeah, that I remember his face. I remember that I'm like, yo, what am I? And he thinking? was like, oh yeah, bro, like yeah. He was like tall and lanky. He's just like, ah, oh, far, like very far. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like that's, but that's how he spoke. Like if you watch it, he's like, yeah, man, like yeah, bro, like I'm just here, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that that's somebody who has rich parents and not. Oh, a Russell Brand. He was Russell Brand. Wow. wow. Shit. See, I'm not lying. Did I wow. not? Did I not hit that spot on? Did, did I not hit that spot on? Wow, he he just looks unkempt. Just did it, like, but did yeah. I not hit that spot on? Like, yeah, yeah, man, it's best yeah, job man. in the world, bro. Like, yeah, best man. job in the world. That's exactly bro. what he was. And I don't, I don't think he was world. faking. I think that was really him. And MTV was like, oh, we gotta run with this guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. We gotta. Yeah. That, but that was like, the, if you think about, if you look at our society now, and like, 
how things go viral. That was like the start of it. Like, oh, he's got a story. Oh, he's a personality. Mm. We gotta run with this, mm. and this motherfucker's gotta win. Absolutely, mm. MTV was definitely a machine behind that. 100%. Absolutely, because mm-hmm. you know they always have you know the behind the music and this and that and the third. So Word, one hundred percent. Oh, so they planted that in their mind. It's like, oh, we have to have something that is viral. So it's like more of a yeah, that, that yeah, culture. you know, the, 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 rather than sitting with things or qualities, it's like, hey, what's the next big thing? What's the next big thing? They, they, yo, they were on it before anybody. Like, like it was just, it wasn't about, it wasn't about quality. It was about like, how can we get people to fucking tune in? How can yeah. we, mm. how can we get viewers? How can we get listeners? How mm. can we get hits on the website? Cause remember, like the. That was the beginning of the the internet. Like, so how can we get yeah. hits to MTV.com? How can we get people to, to log in and and mm. bro, that was before anything. That was before any kind of social media. So they were trying to get people to the website, to MTV, the the, the channel, everything, yo. So Word. they were they were ahead of they were ahead of their time. They were smart. They knew exactly what the fuck they were doing. They moved with a wave. Mm-hmm. Not um now that we were talking about that, I got an interesting question. Mm. Um do you think like you'd be the same if you came up around that time? If you came up around that time instead of now, not, not came up, but like the same level you're at musically, but then during the MTV, the, the rise of the VJ. Like in that. terms of my age and my experience? No, no, your type of music. Like, do you think you sound the same? Oh, that's what that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Um, probably not. I think MTV. It's crazy because I think about now, like the how we digest music, right? Like everything is streaming services, everything it's is constant. is Twitter, Instagram. What I think this generation is lacking, and and I could see why it doesn't exist because of all the access that we have to all these streaming services. But if you think about going back to the '50s, '60s, all the way up until the TRLs and 106s and Parks, there was platforms to introduce artists, to introduce videos. You had American Bandstand, you had Soul mm-hmm. Train, yeah. Um, you had uh, even let's let's go to Dick Clark's Rockin' New Year's Eve. Like it was it was still a platform once a year, but it was a platform. Tiara was that platform for mm-hmm. videos. Like people, yeah. Like think about how That's creative really videos in. were back then. Yeah. Oh yeah. The like first they were one that like, pops in my head is our Triumph by Wu Tang. And that's when I first watched it. On really? Uh, on uh, the, for, for, <laughs> first, first video that pops in my head is the Busta and Janet video. Yes. Oh, that's Yo, top. Like, if you think about it, top, like, if, if, if I could go away okay, from the... I, okay. I could easily go NSYNC, Bye Bye Bye. I actually think of the it's real gonna Slim be me. Shady. I, I could easily go that. <laughs> but let's go hip hop. Let's think Busta. Like, all of Busta's videos, mm, all of Missy's videos. Yeah, they got played. Really? They got Come played. On, it's not Like, it was like a competition. It was like, okay... How could I make the most radical fucking video, the sickest video, right. and I want to get this shit to the popularity? Mm. And who and what was what was the way to do it? TRL. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Missy, became a, M- Missy became a Missy became a thing. Bubba that Sparks Fish became a thing on TRL. Well, I'll just talk about Bubba Sparks. Bro, Sorry. Bubba Sparks. Like, there's mm-hmm. there's a there's a podcast that I'll give you guys, and they're talking about like how like it's it's all about the, the little Nas X thing and how country and rap crossed over long before little Nas X and, and mm. what that looked mm-hmm. like like where that was birthed from right mm-hmm. but you think about then when Timbaland started beat Bubba back Sparks then, was spinning Bubba man. Sparks back yeah, yo his first his first album was fire, fire. Yeah, my yeah. shit is grumpus yo got the like, internet like, going his wordplay, nuts. His, 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 his wordplay was fire oh shit <laughs> <laughs> I said both yo we're both I did it up. yo we're both up. Word. man you ain't even had nothing to drink. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't, even, I can't oh, even defend wow. you, dog. I can't be but, like, hey, we on that. Like, but I feel like we could have said like, I had some. I feel like, like <laughs> if, you, if you look at now compared to then, there you had two platforms. You had the 106, you had the TRL, and right, they were owned by the same person, same company, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. But one there black, was, a, I mean, I think they were all white. If I could be, if like, well, yes, te- DET. Technically speaking, absolutely. Yeah. Right. But, so, but, but they were yes. pitching. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. They were pitching. They were already starting the. Race Separate, let's do this. Mm. The segregation. Yeah, the music segregation. Music. The year. Black uh, entertainment television and white guys. Mm. Um, <laughs> and then music videos. And then music, yeah. And then and <laughs> early in the morning, if you wake up early enough, you just got straight music videos. Nobody talking. <laughs> I um, remember watching the Forgot About Dre music video on my way out the door That was another school. one. Yo. I remember that Hold shit. on, you, you, remember, you, remember, you remember MTV Jams was early in the morning. Yes. And then if you turn on VH1, you had VH1 Soul. Yes, VH1 wow. Soul was fire. I didn't have cable. Was y'all. fire. Yes, that yeah, wow. no, was fire. I mean, obviously, we can't remember. We can't forget the box. The box was fire. Yo, yeah. requesting. Everybody, was everybody I think, I think, I think, I got my ass beat for requesting videos, like the charges <laughs> on the fucking phone bill. I got my ass whooped. I already know, hundred percent, got my ass beat. Um, but like, I, like, like, I and, never, and it, I never requested. 
I tried. I wanted to. You live a sad life, my friend. <laughs> um, <laughs> I question. I question your. I, I, I question your childhood. No cable. Dog. <laughs> I, like, I had that illegal cable. Shout out to the black box. Oh Gee. man. Why was it black though? Okay. I got um, that in high. <laughs> The platform, like, like I think that's what's <laughs> lacking. Like, we have streaming services, we have YouTube, and that's great, right? It's easy access, it's accessible to anybody. But that coming home from school, I'm tuning into TRL, and after TRL finished, mm. you go to fucking BET, and 106 is starting. Mm. You don't have that platform anymore to catapult yeah. these artists, these Absolutely, videos, yeah. the creativity in the videos. Mm. Yo, again, Busta made some of the best you fucking videos so with, 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 with um, Director X. Outcast did. Um, Outcast shit. made some of the best fucking mm. videos. Missy made some of the best fucking videos. Yeah. The Elliot's boy video, bands though. were going neck and like, it yeah. was like, yo, like, yo, even Cash Money. Cash no, Money no, no, videos. videos, with videos. Yo, yo make videos. Rough Riders. Oh, rough Riders was making some yeah. of the best fucking yes. videos. Yo. And this shit was on TRL. Wow. Yeah. TR fucking That was like people's introduction to, you know, Street Bikes. You had the Cisco's. You had the Pinks. When Rough Dawn Riders song came, hard. when Rough Riders came out, I guarantee you, if I was old enough, I would have been one of them niggas like, <laughs> with a bike in a bike oh, doing wheelies sure. in the street. One I of them promise, in the background. Where, I, I promise you. <laughs> Bro, I, the, I, the, when did that come out? The, the, the influence was real. I was like, or ninety eight. Uh, the the influence was real, and that and and if I could, and I'm not saying for them to bring it back, but. That's the one thing that's lacking. I don't know if a lot of people look like, yeah, we have platforms, mm. but TRL and 106 was the platforms yeah. mm. to go for music videos. And I just feel like the competitive nature back then was so friendly. But not only TRL, look at the things that they did, right? Surrounding the Super Bowls, the performances, mm -hmm. the shows that they did when some of these bigger pop acts like the Britney Spears, the NSYNCs, the Backstreet's were coming out with albums. Remember the Saturday before, remember this is when music used to come out on Tuesdays. The Saturday yes. before, they're doing four-hour specials where they're performing, they're doing games, they're interacting mm -hmm. with audiences. You don't have that anymore. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's like an it's oversaturation. Gone. It's mm -hmm. gone. Everybody's doing the same thing, and it's a hundred of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's hard to focus and, you know, like, not really our, pick our your attention favorite spans artists. Are, yeah, yeah, the attention span is like that. Yeah. And yeah. also, also in the same vein of that, albums. Albums are not the same anymore. 100%. This is random. There's an album called Grave Diggers. It's um it's a it's a group RZA on um, made with three other people. Okay. And the music isn't a great. The beats are dope because RZA did it. Right. But you know it, it it's not the best album I've ever heard. But it's a really good album. But you know why? Because it's cohesive. Mm. It's sixteen tracks and one connects to sixteen. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. sixteen individual tracks. It's right. an it's album. A and that's a, like niggas Pre make albums full of singles now. Yeah. Because that's they're, where the money is. It's just they're pretty they much don't make cohesive albums. Anymore. They're pretty much mixtapes, but legally. You yeah, know, they're, they're yeah. legal mixtapes. Uh, mixtapes with original you, beats. You can, put right. on, you can put on streaming platforms and exactly. like yeah, this is right. like streams and I'll get published and I'll exactly. get rights, whatever. Right. E even Outkast, Aquemini. Album was, was like I ain't a gonna lie movie to you though. Where? Playboy yeah. Cardi, it? die lit. Is it? Is it like that? Say I love it, man. It's formatted like that. I, I think it go. I think the whole idea, you know, is cohesive. I mean, he's not saying a whole lot. I mean, I give him but it a but he is I saying some Playboy. stuff. <laughs> nah, I think is I think he but does connect I, some ideas once you start understanding. Like he is painting like a musical picture. I see it. You said you said I see you, it. You, you said you say Aqu Aquam and I might be my favorite Outcast album. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's I, my, th it's I, I think I think front to back. There's not a skippable. There's track. not a skip. Yeah, I think yeah. it might be my favorite. Yeah, I think it's my favorite. And and, and I again, I didn't grow agree. up on I didn't grow up on rap or hip hop. Like again, I grew up on like R and B pop stuff. Mm -hmm. But going back, once I got introduced to hip hop and and started to study it myself, mm -hmm. going back and listening to all the Outkast, like the Southern Playlistic, the mm -hmm. ATLians, yeah. mm -hmm. Aquemini. Um, Stank Stankonia might be Stankonia is like I, oh, I was like, I was right. gonna say personally it's a no but uh, but one hundred percent Aquemini Aquemini front, front to back Aquemini <laughs> front to back is yeah. is is their it, they're probably their their best body of work it's, yeah. it's tough sure. it's so might, crazy you look at like artists like their third album mm. it's like there's something about that third album if they could get over that sophomore slump mm -hmm. that third album where it's like okay I escaped the sophomore slump now I'm about to give y'all what the fuck we really exactly. about to give you and but they, to they say about really Aquemini, a Quemini, like they never really had a sophomore slump, dog. But there's there's few artists that that rarely fear that yeah. sophomore slump. Yeah. Incredible, yeah. That, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like if you if, like like I'm thinking about like one of my favorite artists is you know r regardless of the controversy is Kanye. You had you had mm -hmm. you had college dropout. You had late registration and third album his was best album graduation. Late registration, his late registration, work. but 
the, 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 <laughs> graduation. the, the graduation, what graduation I, did, I love what graduation, graduation did was catapult him to rock star fucking mm-hmm. status. That's it when, did, did, that's yeah. when Kanye said, yo, all breaks are off. I gave y'all the soul samples. I gave y'all the orchestrated shit. Now I'm about to give y'all the synths, all this experimental shit, and y'all are going to fucking digest it and love this shit. Yo. And he said it on the last track. He said stadium status. It's over. Bro, it's a like, rap. But it was so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, can, that album... Hold on. Hold on. Your oh first single is Can't Tell Me Nothing? Ridiculous. First of all... The, 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 song, the song starts off... Produced by la, DJ Tune. La, 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 la. That's how you start With Jeezy in the back. <laughs> And like, I get excited. I'm yeah. sorry. Like, but that's how you start a record off? Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. It's, not even, it's not even that the song was They dope. still play Can't message. Tell Me Nothing now, and Absolutely. everybody raps the words. Young, old, and then, <laughs> everybody. And then, and then you don't have Jeezy on a song, but you have a Jeezy sample. And oh, Jeezy's not I, dead no, yet. no, it's his ad libs. It's Jeezy, his actual ad libs. Jeezy's not dead. He's not what irrelevant. <laughs> that motherfucker is still alive, still making music. And, and you, put a, the you put a ha ha on the fucking record? That's his third time doing that. Remember, I think they did release no, the verse. No, no, yeah, they did release the verse. They did release the verse. Yeah. No, no, they did release the verse. But that's how that's your single. But you just put Jeezy ad libs on your. What's crazy single? about it? After they released the verse, right. I still went back and listened, still listened to the, to the original. original. <laughs> you listened to the original. The the, the, yeah. the, the Jeezy verse didn't. It was like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. I want to listen to the OG one. Con- but I, Con- I did want to. I did want to say something. Oh, what you no, I was just saying he's a king. That he did it. Um, in both of the previous albums on crack music. Put game on just the hook, and then um mm-hmm. breathe in, breathe out. But well, no, 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 it, it wasn't purposeful <laughs> though. Um, game didn't end up on the verse because it was like a label issue or something like that. Oh. Yeah, no, there, there's a lot of legal yeah. issues behind it. But what Kanye does the best, if you even if you look at Yeezus and you look at how he used Thug and some of the mm-hmm. art, other mm-hmm. artists, bro, he is he knows where to place. Regardless yeah. of your personal feelings about Ye, I yeah. don't yeah. care. Like he he's a conductor. Knows, he he yeah. is very much mm-hmm. a conductor. He knows how to take an artist and say, "Yo, I'm gonna take what you're doing. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna take you here, yeah. mm-hmm. and I'm gonna put this fucking together. Mm-hmm. And we are gonna make this fucking thing yeah. work." Agreed. And he is great at that. He's been great at that from the beginning to the fucking to to even this 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 Yay album that nobody really cared for the Wyoming album. Yeah. Right? Like and if this, I like yikes. If this yikes is fire, but yeah. you know, I mean, I think Drake wrote the hook. Like that's no surprise. Like, shit is Damn, fire. now that you say yeah. it, does sound like Drake. Oh shit. Oh yeah. man. That, nah, but it's saying, it's yeah, Drake. No, that's that's known. That's known. Yeah, yeah. Like it came out and Drake wrote the hook. Yeah, it's known. Oh, oh, I didn't it's, know that. No, it's it's public. It's public uh, information. Yeah, but it does sound like him. It's that's a Drake crazy. thing. Yeah, now that you it's say public, it. it's wow. public information. <laughs> yeah, it's public info. And yeah. I did want to say and finish this thought. To take it back to Aquaman, I real quick. Not there. That album in particular, each song is so hard hitting mm-hmm. to you. For the most part, you can find like an in depth um, lesson. Like there's always a yeah. there's a really serious undertone to each song, but they all slap. Yeah. Like who can do that I mean, these days? I heard you guys you know, talk about it. Um, maybe There's not last episode, episode. Yeah, a few episodes ago, yeah. right? Like the, the you, you guys saw the dungeon, uh, the not the um the organized uh, the organized com- yeah. uh, organized noise. Excuse me, uh, the organized noise. Yeah. Netflix, right? Yeah. Yeah. So fucking amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Like, yeah. I think to I wish I that. wish a lot of a lot of bigger artists would um would make shit like that. Like they're yeah. they're behind the scenes process of creating the sound, creating some of the the legendary. I'm like uh the um. The Fade to Black documentary is probably mm. one of my favorites to watch. Like, I yeah, could rewatch that, that shit. Mm. And, that so and even, even if you take out the live elements of the concert, mm-hmm. I could watch that that the studio footage. Oh, yeah. A hundred times <laughs> is, over. Is that where, like, he gets played Lucifer and all those Yeah, a hundred times. Like, okay. you see his oh, initials. Oh, that's yeah, what yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 like, that shit was in the theaters. Like, mm. like, like, I think that shit is important. Oh, like, like when Timberland was making... Um, yeah, when he, played, when he played Dirt, dirt, yeah, off, dirt shoulders. off Your Shoulders. And, and he, he was like, who was that? Played, he, he, and, and it's so, I love that, I love that clip, because he plays it and then stops. Stop, yeah. Like, and then Jay was like, like, you know Jay makes the ugliest. Yeah. He's like, what's that? And put that shit back on it. He's like... And then also when when Ye plays <laughs> Lucifer, like that that Lucifer session, like they show the footage from the Lucifer session. Like I feel like for us, you know, growing up in that shit, like that's important to us. You yeah, know? yeah. It like shows to see that process. It's almost, that and, and I hate to compare it, like, but there, I can't think of anything in my mind like the We Are the World documentary where you see all these stars mm. in the fucking room creating together. this one. Fu- Not like I can't think of past that. What's another documentary that you could think of that that? Oh, the, the Wu Tang documentary. 
That's Mike Simmons that's extremely part. inspiring. No, no, but I'm, I'm talking ta- ta- like, but but who ta- like the We Are the World documentaries. I haven't than, seen it, so I can't. But I, like, it's yeah. it's mostly the music video, but it's a documentary of everybody, like Lionel Richie, Michael mm-hmm. Jackson in, in the studio, like everybody, like uh, Cindy Lauper in the studio. Like, there's okay. like you don't document these big, huge mm-hmm. fucking moments, and I think. I think Black Album was his retirement album, right? It so was. Docu- it's his best album too. To 100% for my me. Opinion. To docu- to document that and to have He's that to watch forever. Mm. Come on, man. I think I think that's important. I think a lot of some of some of the the newer artists I appreciate Trav for doing a um a documentary on Netflix mm. and and showing some of his creative process. He didn't show mm. a lot of it, but mm. the sicko mode process, like just his process of recording if anybody's an Ed Sheeran fan, there's a documentary on um, Apple Music of him making the last album and how he oh, really? wrote everything. And I need to check there's yeah, we were talking about this shit earlier about how he turned in the album, and the label was like, "Ah, eh, it's missing something." Mm-hmm. What does he come back with? "Shape of You." Damn. Yeah, that was a song that was, <laughs> that was a song that was missing. He comes like, like, and it was his biggest fucking record. That's that was wild. a song that that was a song that was missing. But I feel like moments like that. Bro. Like, can you imagine if if MJ like I think there's footage out there if you look there deep, like can you imagine if there's a thriller documentary? Oh, I'm watching. I know there's thriller. I'll take it for that. Can you can you can you imagine if like? And I'm not talking about just random footage here. And there. No, like, can you imagine if they put a cohesive documentary when he came up with the melody together? Yeah. For like you know, oh, and when they oh created the, the dance moves and everything. Oh my god, me? it's Bro. almost like who would not want to see that? See see of, like, dude, I'm I'm a, I'm telling you, like. The, the the this is it documentary. Right. I remember that shit coming out mm. like right after he passed away mm-hmm. and seeing the movies. Um, when they sing the um the Jackson Five, I'll be there. Boo who cried. Nah. Boo who cried. Like <laughs> it's, it's, but but yeah, no. I mean, it's just like yeah. It's just there's for me musically, there's certain chords that that hit me the a different way, right? right and yeah. then just the song and just the time, like he was he passed away, and it's just like, yo, this shit is important. Yeah, this guy was about to embark on a huge fucking tour at the time. This is Michael yeah. Jackson. Mm-hmm. And he passed away like that. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was a, that was a hard Jackson. pill to swallow. I'm not hundred percent. Yeah. I found out at work too. Yeah. I was at work. I was oh, at work. Like damn, with a customer, sucks. and I was like, "Oh, I got some downtime. Let me scroll Twitter." Bro, Michael shit. Jackson died. I'm like, no. Can I clock out and go home? Like, no, wow. my homegirl wept. Mm. I remember talking to her. She wept like Same so shit. relative. Like it was crazy. But not, not to go too far. RIP, mm. Michael. Not to go too far in that. Yeah. Right. Um, Next I'm question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't even. Did I answer the first? Whatever. No, no, you oh, did. Did I? Okay. Would you do anything like that, or are you in the process of doing something like that? Like a documentary? Yeah. You know what's so crazy? Like it's some just blog shit type. It's shit. just seeing a lot of uh, some of my favorite artists doing that shit. I think it's important. I think I admire some of these artists that have footage of them singing when they were like five, six years old yeah, and performing. That like, cool. like it's dope. It's like, damn, y'all could afford that shit back then because I know my people's couldn't afford that shit. Like, right? I wish I had footage of me at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doing all yeah. that. Um, so I try to, but the, the reality of of the situation is that shit costs money. Mm-hmm. These motherfuckers ain't out here doing shit for free, mm-hmm. you know. And 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 I respect everybody's artistry. I don't have the money to do that. So when I'm able to do that, I would love to do that. But the truth of the matter is, I'm not documenting every single fucking right, note being you. sang, every word being written. Mm-hmm. Um, I would love to though, if I, I if I had the luxury of doing that, 100. percent Because right. again, I don't know where I'm gonna be next year. I don't know where I'm gonna be in five years. I don't know where I'm gonna be in ten years. But it would be dope to have all this this backlog of, like again, like I know this I know this footage. It's it's in the Travis doc, but it went viral on Instagram recently of him performing at this festival with was still with Mike Dean and there was like 20 people in the crowd. Do you mm. know what that's like to have that footage to see mm. you are selling No, yeah, I did see that. Footage. Yeah. yeah. And I your do. first performance like that we have footage of was like 20 people and right. and and probably 10 of those people you knew? Exactly. And five of them want to pay attention. Word. That's how, <laughs> like, that. do you know what it's like to have that footage to like... To he was like performing growth? upper echelon to like Word. those 20 yeah, people. 20 people. Weird. It's just Word. like, yo, like, and I what, wish I could afford how, to. And how inspirational that is to the yeah. to the artist who's currently performing in front of 20 mm-hmm. people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, dang. Like, some, you can get there. It's yeah. not impossible. Sometimes yeah. I, I think for me, like, I have to take... A, um, I have to take a, uh, I have to stop and and look behind me and see how far I've come just as a person, not only as an artist, but as a person, first and foremost, because the road ahead seems so daunting. Mm -hmm. It seems so endless. It seems so hopeless sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I have to remind myself the same patience that I practice with people and their, and their problems and the things that they're struggling with. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, have patience with yourself. Stop where you are. Look back at where you were. 
let's not even go back a few years. Let's go back six months ago. Where were you six months? Mentally, mm-hmm. emotionally, where? physically, musically. Where were you six months ago? Where are you now? Did you grow? Yes. If you mm-hmm. did, keep going. Right. And that's 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 honestly a a, a process that I try to practice with myself mm-hmm. because it makes it a little bit easier on yourself. I think we know our potential. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, personally, and we know where we want to get to and what we strive for. And sometimes when we don't reach that on a daily basis, we get frustrated. Yeah. We lose patience and we kind of almost sometimes yeah. not not almost we lose hope. Yeah. yeah everyone's absolutely. everyone's journey is their own, you know, so like you got to remember and be patient with that. And like and, you know, there's different phases to the journey. 100%. And like I did want to ask you, so like how did you start singing like what what I, was there like a moment where you realized you could sing or was it um i think it, it just it, it's 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 funny like i i have a great memory of a lot of things in my life how i started singing is not one of them um <laughs> i think my earliest memory is um doing a talent show at my elementary school it was it was like a saturday random saturday i think mm. i sang a song from uh bro i want to say what was the disney movie oliver and company Wow. Oh, wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, did someone myself. did someone convince like tell you nah, to do it, was just, it, or it was were just you like, I want to It was just sing. like singing around the house and stuff like that. My mom, right. like, like to be honest with you, I, if I could be honest, if I could remember correctly, my mom forced me. I don't think I wanted to do it, but my mom forced me, and wow. uh, I did it. Good mom. And then, yeah, thanks. Mom. <laughs> yeah, um, that's dope. And then after that, the 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 earliest, the one that stands out in my mind is fifth grade. I think it was summer school because I was always a badass jit. I always <laughs> went. I feel like I can't. I can't think of a summer. I didn't go to summer school. I went to Sunshine Elementary in wow. Myanmar. Wow. Um, and then went to Perry Middle. But I feel like almost every summer I was in fucking summer school. <laughs> but it was a summer school, I think, Damn. fifth grade. Um, they they it was it was weird. They asked some kid he wanted to sing, or they asked him to sing and like, got on stage and he sang um Soul for Real's Candy Rain. <laughs> oh shit. He sang the first verse. Oh, he sang the, the first, first verse. verse. He, he sang the whole first verse and the hook. And I was like, and then he stopped and I was like, but you're not going to do the second verse. The second mm-hmm. verse is the best part. <laughs> yeah. But that's when he does the run at the beginning of the verse. You're not going to do that part. I was like, uh, could I go? And I went, sang the second <laughs> verse, did the hook. And that was like the first taste of girls gravitating uh, towards yeah. you because you could sing. And I was just like, I like this shit. <laughs> yeah. He was like, I oh. he was like, this is fun. I was like, this is all I have to do. I, I was like, this, this is cool. And then just and yeah, I like just doing yeah, this. and I like this. Like you mean, I have this within me, and all I gotta do is just open my mouth. That's it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and like yeah, so that that kid, like he, obviously, I think everybody was in chorus in elementary school, right? Even if you could sing or not, everybody was in chorus. So I was in chorus, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade. Did it. I was the best male singer, right? You know, boys to men. I think uh, what was it? Uh, middle school was Four Seasons of Loneliness was the boys to men song that mm-hmm. was out at that time. So singing that shit, um, Casey and Jojo, all my life was out. So singing that shit, like like there was just songs, like key yeah. songs that you just gotta learn because when yeah. a girl asks you to sing, but you better sing you better that sing shit those songs. <laughs> because that shit matters, right? Mm. And then high school going into a magnet program, and that's where I really learned to um, really dial in on the importance of learning music, sheet music, sight reading. Um, our end of the year showcases had to do with us auditioning songs that we had to get the music together. We couldn't perform the tracks. We had to get the band together or live music together. Mm. And that's what started it. And just the, the hunger for learning show production and putting these things together is just where it kind of took me to the next level. And again, uh, you know, at the time boy bands were the thing and just seeing these guys like NSYNC and Backstreet just on stage having fun and girls are fucking going crazy for them. I'm like, this is what they get paid for. I'm like, right. Mm. Where the fuck do I sign up? <laughs> I'm, like, right, right. I'm here for that shit. Right. And it was just, it, it, I was just like, yo, I'm sold. Like, this is what I want to do. This is what that's I want to do 100%. Yeah. Um, walk us through your process now. Like, is there a process or is it like, is it like, because um, we're talking, you know, before we started recording about, you know, the, the new music you're coming out with and mm-hmm. how it's such a switch from, the, your norm mm-hmm. you know what i mean and you said um well first of all, let's talk about um you know the connection you made with the producer you're working with now mm-hmm. um you know how did that come about um so yeah so i think um naturally because of the things that i the, the music that i grew up on you know the boys men's the drew hills um the shies and sinks um like these were just every time somebody asked me to sing i'm singing 
the the shy if I ever fall in love like that's just such a go-to song and I think I because of that I boxed myself into this R and B mm-hmm. pop kind of box and I naturally just started making stuff like that and producers that wanted to work with me would naturally start producing stuff like that mm-hmm. so even up until I uh, 2015 I dropped a song no 2016 dropped a song called DFY it was very much an R and B pop song a lot of people received it very well it got me into the Miami music scene, and I say that with quotes, um, but it got me performances. It got me performances. Ah, okay. I was performing live. I was in front of people. People loved the song, mm. um, it, and it served its purpose, right? And then you fast forward to 2017. I meet uh, my boy Jason, who is like a brother to me. He, you know, based on my aesthetic, you know, you see white guy with a beard. I'm not fit. I don't have a six pack. I'm kind of big, and he's just like, yo, like you have an amazing voice, but the shit that you're making. Like it just doesn't match the aesthetic. So let's get in together and let's create something from scratch. And these guys heard a lot of the music that I've been working on the last two years. The experience. Thank you. I yeah, appreciate yeah, this it. Is, thank this you. Is tough. This is thank tough. you. I really appreciate Definitely it. Like, look out. Um, it, Everything is tough. You, thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. And 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 you guys like this. And this is all. Um, this is all rough. That like we're trying to release everything in three parts because the music just sounds different. And it just. I want to be transparent in my process and in my growth as a person and as an artist. Like it went from going from R&B pop to experimenting with a sound and then going into a little bit more soulful, getting back to my roots. And then now I'm transitioning to a, like a, a a big band sound. You know, you heard the when she's gone, the wake up like that's right, right. that's not R&B. It's not pop. It's like a lot it's of people, something. a lot of a lot of people don't have. And what, what I love is you hear you heard the song Enemy. You heard the song Light It Up. People are like, we don't know what to do. We don't know where to put it. Word, yeah. word. We Sounds know, good, though. Is, would would that be considered word. like a ballad? Because uh, well. even some of the... It, it kind of sounds country-ish, but some of the beats had a little trappish elements 100%. to it. Yeah. And it was like... It's, it, it's, it's definitely like you... It's like a familiarity because like you, kinda, you can see elements coming mm-hmm. together. But then it's it's unique because like you you haven't really heard those elements. It sounds like a Chevy commercial that slaps. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Yeah, I wow. will take that Chevy. It was money no, it was, it was it was it wasn't Chevy. Li- if you were watching, up, well, let me get that money. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right? Remember, like a rock. Hey, but oh, hold on. There's like a, there's a, a there's a um uh, ex ambassadors. I don't know if you're familiar with yeah. ex ambassador. Ex ambassadors got their start like that. Like they're a huge. Like pop rock, are those group. like a rock? But it, not, it, oh. not, not like a rock. But they they got their start off of a uh, I forgot what car commercial was, mm. but their song got picked up for a car commercial and fucking skyrocketed. A lot of that stuff. Wow. They're doing they're doing festivals. They're fucking huge. Mm-hmm. They're in movies. Like mm. they did, like I mean, that's like like look look at look at Imagine Dragons. Oh yeah. Oh, they're, they're, like right now they're the anthem king. Bro, right now. yeah. They yeah. like I don't know if anybody listens to Imagine Dragons on a regular basis, but you best believe you're hearing that shit in a fucking commercial. Yeah. You're hearing that shit in a movie. It's you're hearing everywhere. that shit in a TV you show. Know, like, come on. You man. know what's you Some know what's crazy, bro. You know what's crazy. I I had gotten the album, like shortly before they 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 had like this run of just like being in everything mm. and i remember telling people it was like oh yo this group imagine dragons like, <laughs> who's that because i'm always like i'm that dude to, to introduce the alternative yeah shit to oh, the, we know. To, to no we know. T- I, 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 i've heard the episodes where you're like yeah. yeah i was listening to this and everybody's like uh Ooh. yeah you know the song that I know always do always do a terrible job of uh, Hold trying up. to was it you that I had a girlfriend <laughs> yeah <laughs> was it you were like yeah I, I don't, I don't, do rem- I don't the remember killers. that song the Wait. killers yeah you were like oh, you yeah, had it yeah, 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 I don't I don't know I'm last year <laughs> I don't that, that song no. slapped I was trying to tell him about the killers out there like he was I don't know that song but yeah and then you were like yeah I can't recall it's only one of the biggest fucking songs that you what's funny about the killers this is why you need TRL yeah, right. We need bring TRL back. Carson, we miss you. Word. No, we don't. That the album. What, what's called Abby? Um. Oh my goodness. Um. Abby Road or something like that. No, nah, that's Beatles. That's Beatles. Yeah. No. Um. The Killers had a hold up. I'm While you to, figure that out, before, oh, yeah. have you ever seen that video of Ryan Leslie creating addiction? Yes. Yo. Ryan Leslie's a genius. I don't think Ryan Leslie Thank gets a lot of a I lot of credit. I don't think Ryan I don't I don't think Ryan Leslie He I, does I think, not get the credit he, he deserves. He doesn't get the credit that he deserves. And and it's hard for the writers slash producers that transition into the artists. Um even though his but first album his, his, right first, his first album was amazing, second album was eh. 
but it's, it, but it still had like no, the second it had album an still had yeah, some no, songs. No, it didn't have a like not an impact, right? But like it had some songs that were really you could you could yeah. see his genius. Yeah, yeah you could absolutely. see his genius. 100%. Did he start out as a ghostwriter? I feel like I've heard that song. I don't know well, if it started, was. I don't know if it started so out a, as a child prodigy in Harvard. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> know. If it, I don't know if it was because go like ghostwriters to me are ghostwriters are the ones that write shit behind the scenes that don't get credit. So mm. I don't think he was a ghostwriter. I think he was very much a credit oh, writer, writer and producer. Writer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it, got it. One hundred percent. Word. Oh, um, not to cut you guys. No, you're good. Sam's Town. Who? The Killers album. Sam's oh. Town. <laughs> Amazing. Sam's Town. I'll give yeah. him a listen. Take note. Yeah. Actually, you haven't suggested any bad music to me, so right. I give it no, a no, listen. Right. You look, you listen to Killers a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. They're, they're, um, they're perform- What's the the festival that's happening in Palm Beach? Um. They're opening up for the 1975. There's another band. Oh, yeah? If you've not heard of the 1975, they're probably one of the... The 1975. The 1975. They're it's probably of one name. of... The, it's a hell of a name, but their music is very... It's very eclectic as well. Like, it's it's very punkish, but mm. they, their newest album, it's... it's uh, I want to figure out the name, but it's, it talks about, like, the internet and your relationship with the internet. Mm. Um, intriguing. It, yeah, very, very intriguing. And, and on that joint, on that album, they have... Um, they have like choirs and it sounds like very gospelish. So that name of the album is A Brief Inquiry into Online Relationships. <laughs> wow. I love all, stuff like that. Good title. I love yeah. stuff like that. But yeah. like you could you could and there's an interlude, there's an interlude in there that it, you could hear the voice. The voice is um let me see if uh the voice is uh um the voice is very robotic and it talks about the relationship of man and internet was his mm. only friend. Mm. And talks about how he took Yo. the internet everywhere he went, and he showed him what everything. Year did this and, come and, out? and this shit came out last year. Oh, okay. I'm oh, telling you, the, the, like the 1975. Like, I mean, again, it just depends on what you're that. what you're exposed to, what you like, what you're looking for. It's more what you're looking for we'll than anything. Gotcha. But they are, in terms of festivals, I think festivals are a huge indicator of not like absolutely. What's, what's that's the ultimate yeah, 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 right? Yeah, 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 and sure. so, in terms of festivals, like the the one that's going on in Palm Beach, like I think late in November, the the 1975 are headlining. The Killers mm. are opening for them. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, oh, I think crazy. it's the Killers. Um, I have to take a TPSG field trip. Um, right. But the 1975 is definitely worth taking a listen to. They've have they have like three ish albums. They're from the UK. Oh. These motherfuckers in the UK are just always breeding. Dropping mad dope Bro, shit. They, they have amazing right. artists. Yo. Have you ever heard of a band called Metric? Never. Oh man. They are though. It's a, it's a, it's actually like a male band okay. with a female lead singer, and she plays the synthesizer. Okay, and that's all I gotta say. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like they're, she's they got light shows at. at they're shows. they're a new they're a newer band. No, they've been around for like. I want to say like 12, maybe 15 years, maybe Metric, longer. Metric sounds Metric. familiar. The they, name Metric sounds yo, familiar. Yo, I don't want to be wrong, but I feel like they're from Canada. Okay. But I've seen them live. A lot of Canadians and, UK and, 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 and the fucking UK just breed all this And they make stadium artists, music. Yo. They actually got- I a, believe it. They got a song called Stadium Love that's actually- that It sounds like me. Kanye might have bit from it. <laughs> no, no, oh, no. Shit, no, no actually, no, no, no. I'm joking. They, I think it came out around the same time. Actually, that it doesn't was surprise a, me. I feel like that, I feel like that time you had you had you had Kanye, you had um the Ting Tings, the shut up the and ting leave ting. me alone. Like there was there was a lot of stadium status music coming out that the time that graduation came out. So that shit doesn't surprise me if they all kind of were not biting off each other, but there was a overall influence around making stadium music. Remember you had the Coldplay's Coldplay was fire. Coldplay Coldplay was fire from the beginning, even when they just made like kind of soft alternatives. That first album was No, No, you know what? That first (laughs) album has shivers on it. I don't know if you know that, but anyway. Be sure um be sure because of Coldplay. (laughs) Yo, when when you when you dig into those Coldplay albums though, yo, there are some Joints on there. Yeah. My favorite. The, there's, a, there's a. There's Lost a. Is a hard. But that's hard. like that's after no, they no, evolved. Yeah. Like, thing, but it's a hard. That's song Viva La Vida. That and, yeah. But um. There's Viva a there's a there's a album. parachute. Not, not their lap parachutes is fire. Um, fix you, fix you is one of my favorite songs. Yes. I did, yes. I did like a, yeah. I did like a little like when, when I was when sad. Leading, <laughs> lead, 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 leading wow. up to um, well, to leading tonight. up to the show that I just did back in September, I did like a little cover of Fix You, and I put it on Instagram. And that song just lyrically and vocally, like vocal arrangement, mm. is phenomenal. Yo, like like the Chris, scientist. Oh, amazing! Fucking with amazing! The with the oh video! With the video! 
Yo, with the video, with the video, yo, 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 yo the video. The video you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta watch, watch the video you, yeah, yeah, when you, you hear the song yeah, for the you, first you time. You can't listen to the song Not by you. itself. You gotta watch the video. Coldplay, no, no, they're geniuses. Yo, sorry, yo, yo, y'all remember the fray? One hundred percent. How to save yo, a life, bro? Yeah. <laughs> cable bro. car, bro. <laughs> cable car. Bro, how that, to save a life? Those. They <laughs> made, I think that I, year. I think that year, how to save a life was almost on every fucking primetime show. Yeah, yeah. Like I know that shit was on Grey's Anatomy like twenty times. I had to be. <laughs> yeah. I had to be. Bro, that that, that shit they, I remember I listening to like that like album and be like, "Yo, this is." They were legit. Yeah, they were legit. They they they, they captured some. a moment in time and they did what they were supposed to do, man. Yeah. Who was thank? Mm. Wow, you wow. brought that back. Found a reason for me. That's yo, that I didn't wow. even remember this shit. I just remember the name. I just remember seeing the name. Be like, who was Stank? That's a who was Stank. But they were big. Who was Stank? They were big. And I don't, I don't even know if they were big like consistently. But that that they had the a moment, reason. That for reason. Sure. The reason record was they again. TRL. Yeah, yeah. Like yo, you yo Hootie also, and the Blowfish. Like I, like I always <laughs> stress, always stress. Artists need to follow. In the footsteps of, of in the footsteps of Queen, over everybody, they are the anthem kings or queens, yeah. or whatever you want to call Rhapsody them. That documentary, that movie, bro. Oh, I wanna, how oh, many I of the singles yeah. have been in movies, commercials, documentaries, TV shows, and repeatedly, <laughs> repeatedly <laughs> until the end of time? First Those are all the artists that I know will literally stand the test of y'all, time. Y'all know the literally. name of the bassist? Nah, because they've been their bass lines have been sampled. So, oh, absolutely! Yeah. Word. Another one. Like, that's the dust. Word. Are you kidding me? That's 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 ju- that's nice Justin Timberlake's future sex love sounds all day. Word, word. Yeah, yeah. That's future sex love sounds all day. Like Justin's mm. one of my favorite artists. So the Don't first, be so quick to... the first song on future sex love. Boom, boom, boom. There's another one. Um, how the um? Oh, it's like. It's fun, yes. funky as shit. Dude. Right. I forgot what song that is though. I know, I know the, I know the. Yo, that Future Sex Love Song album. I'm Bro, sorry, man. Don't that shit was so Don't hard. Don't get me started. Uh, that shit was hard. Don't get man. me started. Don't get me and started. And every song was like ten minutes long. I'll tell you, I don't, I don't miss Justin when he comes in the concert. Oh <laughs> yeah. No, I like, like legit the days of my of of any performance I have. I there's um they put on a uh he has a document a, a concert documentary on Netflix. I watch it because I think for me in our time, uh, our generation, he's one of the best showmen that we have. I like, haven't watched a lot of his shows. Like but I love just, his music. Just the way, just the way how charismatic he is on stage. Mm. His cues, his musical cues. His band is fucking phenomenal. Yo, he's right? a Disney kid that made it to the mainstream, man. Like yeah, him he and had Brady. the right. Yeah, him and, uh, he, well, but but he has the most sustainability. Like he's had yeah, the most yeah, of course, consistent of course, yeah. career. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, he almost well, lost his career when he fucked over the, the Janet, Janet shit. And you know what's so what's crazy is he took <laughs> he, he took a lot of flack, and and it's crazy. I, I like this story because I tell it from a personal standpoint. He took a lot of flack last year when he took the Super Bowl shit, right? Like, was it last year or the year before? Last year? Yeah, I think it was last. Last year, year he did a Super Bowl, yeah. right? And and I think the flack he caught, he was dropping Man of the Woods, right? And everybody was calling him, him culture um, vulture, <laughs> culture vulture, right? Yeah. And I was just like, ah, you know, like I get. And and it's funny, like I'm I'm really kind of digging into episodes you guys have had talking about Twitter and how mm. cancel culture and shit like that and mm. things that are said on Twitter to me are not real. Like I think Twitter Twitter versus it's not for a real sarcasm. it's not a real world, right? As addicted I as I am to it, yeah, absolutely. It's not right. it's not a real world, right? So cancel culture to me is not real as fuck because everybody canceled Daniel Caesar, but who had a sold out concert at the Fillmore recently? Daniel, Daniel fucking Caesar. Caesar. Nobody's canceled, right? Yeah. Um, he's canceled in your mind. In your mind, yeah. right? Like for 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 social Nobody lives there but for you. social status, he's canceled, <laughs> yeah. right? Mm. Um, but like that, you know that the flack that Justin caught for dropping "Man of the Woods," which was a quote unquote country album, and here's not my argument, but it's just like, where's the co- like? Oh, yeah, okay, so he had say something with Chris Stapleton. Chris Stapleton mm. is a country album, but who produced the record? Danger Hands and fucking Timbaland. <laughs> but. Okay, you had, really you had, had an issue with Man in the Woods. No, it was because you know he it wasn't up he to vultured bar. our culture for so long. Here's the thing. Oh, so and now that we, and then, then they felt like he was done with it. And They said, "Let me go back to my." I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you an insight to a conversation, and this oh, is no. this is this is super. Yeah, it, it, it's it's. Free. I don't think I'm. It's, I don't think I'm. Hard this is not. This is exclusive one. because nobody has it. So I have a um. I call her an acquaintance. 
um, who danced for Justin on the Future Sex Tour. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, that I know by way of my best friend who he danced with her on the, the Britney Femme Fatale tour. Ooh. And I got to wow. meet her, right? But she still does all of Justin's big shit. Like she did, um, she danced with Justin for the VMA Video Vanguard Awards. Mm-hmm. Danced with him for the Super Bowl. Oh, wow. And so I, I asked her, like I'm cool with her. I had We were messaging each other back and forth. And I said, yo, let me ask you a question. Because I remember when, she, when I met her during the Britney tour, she was telling me about, this is Justin, like Future Sex had just ended like a few years before. She's like, yo, Justin's one of the coolest people I've ever known. Like, even after tour, he invites us over barbecues, et cetera, so on and so forth. One of the coolest people I know. And so I was like, yo, you've known him for years. You just danced with him at the Super Bowl. What are your thoughts around him being a culture appropriator, mm-hmm. a culture vulture, et cetera, so on and so forth? She said, listen, because he is white, he will always be an appropriator. And the mm-hmm. same goes for me. <laughs> I will always be an appropriator because the black culture started everything that we know in terms of music rock and roll mm-hmm. blues jazz everything that i'm influenced by was started by black culture so i will i will always be an appropriator there's a difference from doing it genuinely right. and for personal gain mm-hmm. and she's like i'll tell you this justin does not do it for personal gain mm-hmm. he is very much the person that you see on tv that he is behind the scenes. Right. The way that he knows the music, the way that he knows his shit inside and out. Mm-hmm. She's like, I've seen first and for- firsthand, he is not what people are saying that he is. And I was like, she, and then we, you know, we talk about the Miley Cyrus, the obvious ones, right? Like yeah, that's the ones that appropriate the culture I, for the personal the, ben, the personal gain, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And so I think there goes, like, I don't know if, I, don't, I haven't heard a, a, a conversation about that. Like, no matter what, any white person essentially is gonna be appropriating the culture, I, right? But are you doing it genuinely because you were raised on it and this is what you really love? Or right. are you doing it because mm-hmm. there's a sound here, there's a niche, and I'm going to capitalize on it? Mm-hmm. And there's a difference. No, no, yeah. you're absolutely right. I and, definitely And so think... just, to, just to bring everything full circle, like our conversation was regardless of what anybody... And she, and she said she... I have the screenshot. She was just like... Um, it's like I can't get behind the shit. Um, I can't, but I can't get behind the, the the term woke because it has such a negative connotation to it. Now like, it yo, does. Now it does, right? Yeah. And, and she's like, like it's just, and and I loved getting her her personal um, story working with him himself. And she's like, yo, like people are gonna say what they want to say. The Janet mm-hmm. shit was the Janet shit, right? It happened and fucking like you know it could have been handled differently. Yeah, yeah, yada yada. But I I think people are just looking for a reason to be fucking mad at. Anybody, anybody. No, and, I and agree I with don't, that. I don't. I don't know if Justin's from fucking Memphis. Like, is he really abandoning black culture? No. Like, he is a country kid at heart that grew up in R and B. Yeah. Like I even mean, Brian McKnight even... himself said that he's heard him do runs of his own songs where he's like, "How the fuck do you do that?" I didn't even. <laughs> I didn't even. Well, I guess I didn't really get too into the album, but I didn't think it was really much of a country. I, I thought it was more like a fusion. Well, like he was know, doing an experimental kind of I thing. I thought the really. same thing. But you like, I, I would say that, I do want to say like, that's why I was saying, mm, I don't know about it yeah. when you were saying him going back to what he used to be. Like, I think he always seemed genuine. Like, You know what it was? It was it was the promo leading up. Everything was him in the woods, in the water, and very country-esque yeah. looking. But he was obviously doing something different. Like, plenty of artists go and experiment, but because he's Justin Timberlake that used to, you know, do black music or he used to try to no, appropriate... No, don't do that. that you know, black music. No. <laughs> It's 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 very it's very much black I, music. I, I, I say sure. quotes because I'm those are not my words. Like so oh, I'm okay, throwing no, up no. quotes. Yeah, yeah, no, no, so, no of course. Um, because so, um, although I do say black music sometimes. So anyway, <laughs> um, but again, at the end of the day, all of it is black music. Yeah. And it was started by black. No, nah, but I guess from my perspective, and I also like I said, I ain't grow up with cable and stuff. Mm-hmm. So like I wasn't always seeing the promo runs and all to have like an idea of him visually. But I I had the first I had a, well my sister bought the first album and then Which how was? about Future Sex Justified Justified, Justified. Yeah. Yo yeah, yeah, nigga he had the clips yeah no 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 just Justified yeah, yeah. on the first but and, but, Dude, if, but doesn't thing. that play into the appropriation thing no but no no but wait, wait, no wait, I'm asking I'm playing devil's advocate no 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 it's not devil's advocate like I said it can be perceived as the cultural appropriation thing because you know these niggas have how but think think about what I just said Insync already did dabble. In, in hip hop, it was it, their stuff was like a fusion. It was like pop. It had some hip hop. You know, they worked with different people. So I think by the time it made sense when Justin goes solo, his stuff still wasn't overly hip hop or R and B. 
he had he just worked with different hip-hop sounds. I mean, like, he worked with Timbaland, Neptunes. Yeah. Like, if you look at the first album, yeah. the first album was wasn't straight R and B. Was produced by Timbaland. He had the and one with Neptunes are night. experimental. Exactly. So, oh, yeah, but no, I get that. I get that. But but again, but going then, back to what I just said, any any white yeah. person that is doing R and B fusion type music is appropriate in the culture. But are you doing it because this is who you are and this is what you grew up on? Or are mm-hmm. you doing it for personal gain? So if you look at Justified mm-hmm. to me, was it, it sounded very like you could go back and listen unique. to the record now from Senorita all to the last record. Oh, Senorita. Senorita exactly. Bro. See that reaction? Like <laughs> that reaction right that there goes fire. to show me that <laughs> this yes, shit yes, was genuine. <laughs> yes. Bam, 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 bam. Like, yo, and when that shit comes on, you're like, <laughs> Justin, whoa. whoa. <laughs> like, you know, like, but that just like you, you, I think you could see when a Justin does it compared to let's let's go with the the, the example that I gave when a Miley does it. I thought oh, you were Post Malone. <laughs> you, so you, th- you think you think Post Malone? Okay, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Hold on, you, you, let you, you, you be searching for the kind of words. No, no, listen, I don't. Think, and I'm a huge fan of his his, 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 li- his, his latest album. Amazing, I think it's amazing. I don't However, think it's amazing. It's good. I think his music sounds so good. When I say However, amazing, compared to everything we are listening to, a lot, a lot yeah, of the what we digest. Already low, so yes. He does what he does Touché. well. The <laughs> album with congratulations was really good, and I was the first person, along with you, to call him a culture vulture because on, of the, on this podcast, because of what he <laughs> yeah because of what he said in interviews, and I'm like, it really seemed like he was trying to separate mm-hmm. himself from hip hop, but then he came and made another hip hop album. Here, and I'm like, here, here's here's my thing. Remember, here's, here's my thing. Is, is that that, that that clip that he said what he said about hip hop and and encouraging people and I to watched make, the whole interview. Did you now? Yeah. Let me ask you a question because I didn't. So I'm, yeah, I'm asking them. you: Was that quote taken out of context, or was it was it spot on with the headlines that were being spun? So let me go back to what I was saying before. I think he. I think the first thing I, word I used was confused. Okay. So like, <laughs> wow. And so when you when you're considered a culture vulture, in my opinion, like. If you're confused about what you're doing, then you're not genuinely yeah. trying to do hip hop. Sure. Right, right, right. If you're if you're okay with sitting there and saying, you know, well, I'm not trying to really, it, unless I'd have to listen to it again because it's been a while. But I I used to watch those Breakfast Club interviews, interviews yeah, religiously, religiously yeah, and yeah. I watched the entire like 45 minute interview, and I remember thinking like, thinking like, oh, I don't think I really fuck with Post Malone anymore after watching <laughs> that. And like what that's why quote? that's why his last album, I might forgetting the the one with Sway Lee on it and everything. He um, I I listened to it like once and I just didn't rock with it anymore because my feelings from that interview. I was reading a little more into it, but he could he basically said like, yeah, I don't really want to be boxed in and call like a rapper or hip hop artist or whatever, you know, because you know I, I think I want to do country which I see that I can see it you even see just now in with circles looks. Mm-hmm. from before like from yeah, the beginning yeah. you could just see it like something and I don't know if me I'm the type of guy that look you in the eyes when I meet you and that's how I read you so mm-hmm. I don't know if that was translating through video but all I know was I something just didn't seem right but his music sounds so good to me and that's why I would get like teeter sometimes but I do feel that he's like a culture vulture until Another interview comes out and I see do you, do you, that he can express that thought. That thought, better. right? That and that's yeah. what it is. These or, guys, are, these guys are not media. Trained. Or if at that point he did decide, I want. <laughs> or, or yeah, like um, because I want to hear uh, if he did decide at some point. Wait, I really like this. After doing hip hop style music for such a long time, I actually feel that I enjoy this and this is me. Then I can see that happening too, and I might forgive somebody for that. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, uh, yeah, no, nah, I get you, but you, you have done like the, I feel like post with White Iverson was just thrusted into the fucking spotlight. Yeah. Let's like thrusted into superstar, and it's just like again going name. back to these guys don't know they're not media trained. They yeah. don't know how to express themselves, mm-hmm. and I think that's a, a generational thing. Like a lot of these newer artists, when you see them do interviews, it's just like. You're They've been making music for the last it's year. It's because they You're blow up so quickly. They blow up so quickly yeah. and they don't know how to speak to, and this is no knock on them. I respect, like, I, like I genuinely respect everybody that is somewhere I'm not, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. truly. But the yeah, truth of the matter sure. is, is you don't, how do you speak to your process? How do you speak to your experience? Like, these mm-hmm. guys are 18, 19, like, 
experience have you had? Yeah. Mm. Like That's what could, what can you talk to? They're like not how having can, a chance. Do you know to, how uh, to articulate your thoughts mm-hmm. the way that some of these like the way that a Jay Z does? And it's hard to compare an eighteen year old to an almost fifty year old Jay Z. Yeah. But it's like even at twenty something, Jay Z was able to yeah. articulate mm. his thoughts. Oh, yeah. And I think that's what's that what that's what lacks. Yeah, even when you look at uh, Vince Staples and then they just oh, Vince Staples, he's a genius. He's fucking amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The way he articulates himself. Yeah. No, no, he's awesome. He's awesome. He is. Yeah. He's amazing. He awesome. He's, and the way he analyzes things. Oh no, no, no. Oh, I thought you were saying. Yeah, oh, you about that. I thought you were about that. Yeah, about oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Do you? I feel like. Do you feel that way because a black person can't? He's trying to do. I feel like I. Right, when 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 black people make music, mm-hmm. regardless of what it is, the the first impulse is to throw them into the urban category. And I feel like the reason the fellow with Post Malone is because he came in with the urban sound, but he's trying to do what we can and that not be considered the urban sound. Just be like, hey, call me everything. But I know. don't. Yeah, I mean, I guess I hadn't thought about it that way. But <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to hold that. I'm trying to I, hold I, had, I hadn't thought about it hold. that way, honestly, but on. Mm. It wasn't that because I still, after listening to that, went mm. back and there were certain songs that I just really loved. I went back and listened to it with no problem. Like, mm. I ask this dude, like, <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> like, I, I'll be the I'll be the first person to go back to something later on, like, regardless of yeah. who the person is and try to check it out and enjoy it still. But um, it's all right. As far as the vulture goes, I know what I said on last episode. I still stand by it. But also, you got to put a lot of the blame on the labels and the machines behind you. 100%. Now, imagine, Ledoux, let's say you were in a post million position, <laughs> and you were a vulture. Let's say they literally set you up to be a vulture. Mm. Would you deny millions of dollars? You have to think from their perspective. It's hard to say. Yeah, they want me to vulture this culture, dah, 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 but they're giving me these checks. I'm a poor ghetto, you know, whatever. I'm going to take it. I need to feed my family. I need to do this, that, and the third. They wave that check in front of them and then give them the stipulation. But not everybody would take that. Of course not everybody would take it, but the, the ones that do take it, part of me can't really blame them. Young and... It's, it's, especially it's being really, that age. Yeah. It's spe- it's, imagine giving a $2 million see that, that's, check see that, to that's, an 18-year-old. No, no, I'm not saying it's good. I still agree that it's terrible. 360s right. and all that are, is slavery. Jerry. Right. Uh, Say it again? Jerry. Fuck Jerry. Jerry. Oh, yeah. That shit right. is slavery. However, you have to go into the mind of He's an 18 year old that came from nothing with no oh, guidance damn. behind him, with no guidance behind him on top of that. He couldn't buy a bag of chips yesterday. Now he has a $2 million check in front of him. And there's nobody telling him. And he him, doesn't no, own any got, of his music. He doesn't own any, but he doesn't know that. That's not his fault. You got to remember ignorance. You can't excuse When you call someone ignorance, not, it's just that they just don't know something. So, so part so, of me can't really blame him. It's like, so, you know. But are you saying that happened so with let's, Post Malone? So. No, well, as far as as far as the money part goes, yes, I, feel I like could. That's a part of you're what you're asking me. Him. You're asking me if I would take the like. I if, 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 yeah. Like if you're asking me as thirty plus Ledoux, I wouldn't because right. just the experiences that I've been through. Of course, integrity is huge to me, right? And I feel like, and we were talking about this off air, like when I first got here about how I'm trying to move and be as honest and transparent <clears> in my progression as a as not only an artist, just as a person, just mm-hmm. with. Uh, health and and just mental health and and integrity is huge for me. So Absolutely. the two million dollar check, because I see it like this: I take a two million dollar check now. Mm-hmm. I might be denying myself of a twenty million dollar check later by being honest and genuine to myself. Nice. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think that's what happens when you when you grow up in a middle to lower class situation. They wave that two million dollar check in your face, you and that shit looks so fucking pretty. Yeah, that shit looks so good. But what you don't know is if you, you if you have hours. faith, mm-hmm. if you have faith in yourself, you have faith in your integrity and who you are as a person, you turn down that twenty million dollar check, there's a two hundred million dollar check waiting for you two years from that twenty million that two million dollar check. Right. And I believe in being and again, I can't I can't speak for eighteen year old Marcel or Ledoux. I can't speak for twenty one year I I can't. Okay. I can only I can only speak word. for the experiences that I've been through to up until this point, mm-hmm. I would not take $2 million. Yeah, would it get me out of my situation? 100%. Mm-hmm. Could I provide for some of the people in my life? 100%. But I have to have... And this is where I always... Like, I think the term self-love, it's 
it's fallen on deaf ears because everybody's using it, right? I think there's uh, an appropriate way to utilize it and use it and practice it. And I think people are just u- overusing it, right? It's an overuse of that term self-love, right? Um, mm-hmm. But you really have to know yourself. You have to trust yourself. You have to have faith in yourself. Mm. And you have to love yourself to know that, yeah, this $2 million could probably change my life. But I have to know that I'm worth more than that two mil. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. You Absolutely. know, so it, it's just, it's it's tough to say. And, and people might listen to this and watch this and be like, oh, you're bullshitting two mil right now. But like, yeah, but what's, what's two mil to people that have one bill right yeah they, they have they have six billion dollars yeah, in their that, account that, what is two mil to them that is that, nothing. That, they're yeah. thinking they're thinking where they at and not where they and could not where be. they could right. be and and, 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 and and again that's where people lack faith it's mm. it's people want this they want like oh this is a cup like if this cup wasn't here i would not believe that a cup like yo trust me there's a cup there and if that cup wasn't there i'd have to be like there's not a cup there. And you'd be like, mm. no, no, trust me, there's a cup there. Mm. Because I could see this cup, I could believe that, right? But it's the same thing with faith. Like you're mm. walking by faith and not by sight. Yeah. People want to touch it. That's why a lot of people don't believe in God because there's no human figure in front of you, whether he's black or white, long hair, nappy hair, whatever the fuck you believe in. There's no physical person there to believe in. So people don't believe in God for that reason yeah. because yeah. there's you can't touch him. You can't yeah. talk to him. Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing with faith. Yo. Mm. People, A lot of people walk by sight Mm, and they don't walk by faith they have to see it in order to start believing and it's the same thing with me like if i start and and i was talking about this with somebody the night if i get a co-sign from anybody right now like a lot of people are seeing me like oh yeah he's doing shows that's cute that's nice if i get if i get a co-sign from post malone right now Mm -hmm. you think people are gonna start believing me absolutely oh yeah for sure exactly so you're walking by sight and not by faith exactly Mm -hmm. And people want to hop You needed on. someone else to tell you what exactly. is yeah. dope. Exactly. And like, so walking by faith and like, honestly, you're talking about something that I just learned about recently that Jason Weaver. Jason uh, Weaver. Yes. All right. Jason so Weaver, Jason, a lot of people Jason, don't know Jason, Jason Weaver. I've been on Jason Weaver for a minute. Jason, J- Jason Weaver. Not even that. No, no, played, no. Played, Jackson's American I, Dream. Played, oh, yes. I, so, I was going to say, he played right. Young Simba. Michael. Yes. He played he Young played, Michael. And that was him singing. He played Jason yeah, that Weaver. That was, that was, in the fucking, that was in the him series. singing in every scene. They made him sing singing. over he and was, over. That was no lip singing. That was him yeah. singing. And you, and you know what? Someone came, some record execs and other people came to the set, heard him singing um, uh, that when you went away. That one. Mm. Who's and, loving um, you? Who's loving you? And 100%. and from him hearing him sing that uh, on set, got they brought him to Disney, wanted him to sing for Lion King. They already had to deal with Jonathan Taylor Thomas yeah, for like the, 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 the lines, yeah, yeah. but they were like, "Nah, we need you to sing." And he was like, "Okay." They waved a two million dollar check in his face, and his mom. He's like, "Yo, we was excited. You know, it was like we won a lotto." And then he said, "Hold up!" After the excitement wore down, his mom was in the industry before she. Back up oh, I didn't know people. that. She back up saying, "Yeah, the story did. Re- I did see the so, story recently." So came then out. he says, "Um, his mom's like, if they willing to give you two million, this Disney, I've been seeing them. Like they just brought back, they just finished Beauty and the Beast, and they just back. Remember they used to do the Disney Vault, yeah, and they would take." They would re-release I think, I think movies. This, this is, this is after yeah, Aladdin. Yeah, they had just re-released think, right? after yeah, exactly. Aladdin. They, just, the recent, they re-released yeah. Sleeping Beauty and everything. And then she was like, nah, we need royalties. Cut the check. We're yeah. going to talk to them. And like they said it was like battle. They went to battle. But then they said, all right, we'll give you $100,000 in royalties. And Jason Weaver was like, what? <laughs> but his mom was like, take it. He's made that back. Maybe he five said, years I'm, after, he's, like he's, he, I'm sure he, he's he was being modest shit. about it. He's definitely <laughs> made that back, probably at least four times over by mm-hmm. now. Hundred percent, and he's getting that paid that for the rest of his life. Yeah, forever. Because Lion King is. He forever. said <laughs> when they they did a lion they did a Lion King storybook. That's crazy. They did a Lion King storybook, and because the voice is him singing the song when you open the page, That's he gets he gets royalties from that, that every shit. time that shit sells. He's getting paid. His mom set him up. Yo, shout out to good moms and good parents. Shout out. Big Yo, Jason know. Jason Weaver is uh, like I like Legend. you said Jackson He's American Legend. Dream. Like I, I knew him. Yeah, wow. Like because of that mini series, I started listening to Jackson Five. I started like di- mm. like digesting their their catalog. Um, then he went from there to Lion King, from Lion King to Smart Guy. Yeah. And obviously he was in most recently ATL. I think is the most memorable, notable, yeah. most mem- like the most notable memorable. thing that he's been in. But yeah, he's one of those individuals, and, I, and I, he's somebody. My I brother follow. and me. I he was in my brother. Me? No, not my brother and me. Oh, I'm Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. What was that Nickelodeon You're show? You thinking the smart guy, even though that was on Disney. That was on Disney, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm wow. About that. You know, I'm just messing up everything today. You know, huh? I, just, I just made the connection. 
I'm like, oh, that's what y'all talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was crazy. What's crazy? Smart guy, big brother. <laughs> the people, the people who who won't, who aren't really hip, might look at a person like, be like, oh, he fell off. But what? His last, his last, his yeah, last he movie was. And, and that, that's what. That's While what, he's that's in his what, mansion smoking his cigar, laughing. Right, but he's <laughs> like, oh, that's, that's what. That's, but that's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's the difference between long money and short money. Is yeah. they say he fell off, but. This motherfucker's getting paid for something that came out in 1994. That's mm. nice. I think he said one check one time, he got like over two mil. Come on, like just him. one of the checks from one like and that was supposed run to be his through only check. of the release. And that was supposed and to be his only be check. His, think about that. He was like, I would have fucked that off. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. In 94, like you're a jit, like you getting all this money. Yeah. Well, you if your mom money. let you, but like Come at the same time. Bro. <laughs> yo. Come on. That, I love hearing those stories, man. I'm sorry. No, no, that's just Warms dope. my heart. <laughs> now, before we get out of here, I got a last question for you. Now, you're versatile with your music. You got a little hip hop, pop, jazz, all that. I'm only going to give you four. I want you to give me your favorite artists from these four genres. Mm. Uh-oh. Rap and hip hop, mm. R&B, mm. rock, and you can include soft rock, hard rock, metal, all that, and um, and pop. And it could be a group or a single. Single mm. artist. Um, pop, I'm going NSYNC slash JT. Okay. Um, hip hop, um, I'm, I'm going with Kanye. And, uh, and I'll explain that a little bit. Like Kanye, again, uh, I have no problem talking about that. I never grew, I didn't grow up on hip hop. I didn't, I didn't start diving into hip hop because of Kanye. Like if you think mm-hmm. about like um, the Jay-Z verse where he was like, I'll probably be lyrically Talib Kweli. Mm-hmm. Uh, I used to rhyme like Common Sense. I did five minutes. I have been rhyming like Common, common sense. sense. Like you think about, like <laughs> you think about, and Kanye for a while was talking about how he put, you know, these guys on tracks together. Like he put mm-hmm. a Common and Jay-Z to get like, because of Kanye, <laughs> it made me dive deep into most Def's catalog. Yeah. It made me mm-hmm. dive into because of that catalog. get by it remix. Me, it, 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 made, yeah. it, made me, it made me dive into a Commons catalog. It made me dive Another into a catalog. Talib's catalog. You know mm, what I'm saying? So um, not so great. Um, but he's still a good rapper. But uh, Black Star is fire. That Black, oh, Black Star is fire. fire. Um, but because of these, and you learn about <laughs> you so learn great. about this is very you learn true. about the little brothers, the roots. Yes. Um, Yo, shout to little brother who just released the album again. Yo, yes, yeah, reunited yeah, yeah, without fire, Ninth yeah. Wonder, eh, but beats still amazing. Still yeah. fire. Like I mean, you can't you can't you can't they still work with they powers, they Like like they're they're fire lyrically. Yo. Uh, you on the key, nobody talks more shit than Fonte. Yeah, Fonte's yeah, oh, fire. He talks best. humble, low key shit. Yeah, like, you know, oh, you know, okay. you know, you know whose project is um the two EPs that he dropped was the Black Thought. Yes, Black Yo. Thought. The, the two EPs that yes, he dropped yes. were fucking phenomenal. Yes, yeah, the Wait, first phenomenal. one was with Nine Wonder, and then the second was, was with Primo. Pete was Rock. Primo. No, Pete oh, Rock. Rock. P- Remember he spit over yeah. Nas's light. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 man. Bro, and and then and then what was the freestyle that he did on Sway? Man, a ten minute freestyle was a Funk Flex. Funk Flex. Ten minute. Snapped mm. like Snapped. like easy like again I'm not His a huge hip hop fan but if, if 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 I had to like Black Thoughts in my top five I don't no, like exactly. there's no oh, yeah. top five yeah. wait hold on I gotta say something because this is beneficial because like as a singer Black Thought has mastered you know controlling his diaphragm he actually talks about it like he practices oh. breathing techniques he you you punch that nigga right there he probably feel like he it's, got all it's solid in his stomach it's solid <laughs> but that's his breath control it's solid that's so his breath control. We got, uh, so we got JT pop, slash NSYNC yeah. for pop. We got Kanye for hip hop. You said you said R&B, rock, R and B, and rock. Ooh, R and B is a tough one, man. <laughs> you can put JT in there. Uh, no, no I'll, I'll keep I'll keep JT in the pop. Ca- like, I'd have to break up eras. Like, um, okay. Boyz II Men was my first cool concert ever. Where you Boyz II Men? Saw Boyz yeah. Boyz II so, and I'll tell you where I saw Boyz II Men. I saw Boyz II Men. Um, so at the time, back in the day, my um my uncle, God rest his soul, owned a salon, and this is in Aventura area by like Reynolds Park kind of area. Oh, so you're, oh, talking, you're, talking about, Yo, you're talking about money, right? I like stayed, these, yeah. these people got money right uh-huh. there. You know, so this is Super Bowl is 95. So you're talking about Niners and Chargers. In yeah. The Super Bowl. Uh-huh. And you remember back in the day, they had all these parties in Miami, in, in Miami yeah, right? Uh-huh. You had all these parties in the NFL experience leading up to the, the day yeah. of the game, right? right. Mm-hmm. So one of the parties was, you know, meeting the legends, Marcus Allen, Lynn Swan. Um, were the two that stand out in my mind because I think I actually had conversations with them outside oh, of the autographing section and stuff like that. That's dope. But who was the featured performers? Boys to Men. Mm. And you're talking about, but you're talking about Boys to Men 
at at the height of I'll make love to you, right, right. end of the road, right. mm, oh, on right. bended oh, knees, wow, wow, when the water wow. runs dry. Like you know you're saying, talking like, about, boy, like the two album yeah. had most recently yeah. released. Yeah, yeah. So you're talking about like all four of the motherfuckers, even with the scoliosis ass motherfucker on stage <laughs> singing his. <laughs> I, resent, <laughs> oh, I resent that too, damn. but I'm, I'm just trying to show that the, 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 like how serious that yeah. shit was. Like, like so that was my first taste of live music and seeing mm. and and this is something we didn't touch on like i'm a huge fan of and i showed you guys the video of me performing the song when she's gone live and we end it with acapella mm -hmm. I'm, I'm big on that shit i love mm. and i think that's why i just gravitate towards the boys and men's the n-syncs because and that's why i'll take n-sync over backstreet because i think n-sync always had a great appreciation no discredit to backstreet but n-sync <laughs> had a great creation for that appreciation for the top to bottom sound right they had yeah. the high mm. tenor slash soprano sound mm. and they had a true true bass mm. yeah. and they knew what that meant to their acapella sound mm. and when those guys perform live and they perform acapella there's no denying their talent right. and the and the the no pun intended, how in sync they were with their sound. Right. <laughs> we should call them in sync. Um, <laughs> Let's spell it with an M. <laughs> uh <-huh>. um, so <laughs> like in terms of R and B, I have to go, I have to go boy cement early. If mm. I have to go later on, more understanding music and stuff like that. <sighs> music soul child. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my <laughs> head. <laughs> Get out of my head. Yo, music soul yeah, child. Leave me hanging on camera, yeah, dog. Yeah, that's old child. No, you lying. That's what you're gonna say. No, yeah, he's <laughs> incredible. No, that, no, that, that, that I just want to sing album stands out in my like I put that I just want to sing album on right now. <laughs> 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 Dog, that's that <laughs> album front to back, and and I, think I even, ain't trying to pressure you. Oh, oh they oh, just I came on it. Like I think, I think uh, you I ain't think, really I think even. even Doesn't I think even if I'm not mistaken, I think he even got a root sample or either the root sample. Break you off. That's what you think. No, not break you mm. off. No, there's there's a I forgot what song it is. It's after it's after love for sure. It's like cut eight or nine. I forgot. I can't remember, but I feel like. But just the influence on that Neo, remember that Neo Soul movement? You had him, you had Jill Scott, you had mm -hmm. Flow a Tree, yeah. um, Eric Badu, Eric Badu. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, uh, fuck. Remember Remy Shand, the white guy. I, know. I remember Jamiroquai. The white. Jamiroquai. You remember, Remy, you remember <laughs> Remy Shand? You're gonna play the song right now. I need you to play the song because Remy Shand was a thing. He was a white Remy guy that Shand. wore the big hat and everything like that. Wow. Yeah. See, he knows. He <laughs> fucking up. play the song. Play the song. <laughs> it's the one single it has to have a star in it because it's the only song that he really <laughs> had take a message yeah take a message from my love yes oh, wow. yes See, I, remember I don't remember yeah. Remy yeah. Shand I'm sorry I gotta uh, see. This, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. this was the yo when I saw Remy yeah. Shand I was like oh, white boy got a going. chance <laughs> I was like white boy got a chance <laughs> When he didn't want people to know who he was. Oh. When he was riding, when he was riding, uh, yeah, when he was riding the bike in the new in New York City. He was riding, riding long ass hair, looking like a fucking bum. Yeah, he looked but goofy, Remy Shen, man. you know who Remy Shen? So that was that Neo Soul movement where, like, I was just like, yo, this shit is fire. All this shit was fire. So Earth. I have to, I have to yeah, say that I that I just want to say. Eagle Eye just saved tonight. Right. <laughs> dun, 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 mm, fight the break yeah. of dawn. Oh, tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> Soon as yeah, tomorrow I'll be gone. Yeah. Save tonight. Yeah. That song is fire. That yeah. shit is. Yeah. Remember the music amazing. video? The music video is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. oh, man. Oh, man. Hey, oh, man. We we all right. So, R so, so we did R&B uh, rock, man. It's so crazy. Like, I never. I remember my father listening to uh I'll, I'll never forget S10 pickup Chevy pickup my dad smoked cigarettes I'll never forget that pickup like it was just I honestly I was low key embarrassed to be dropped off in school and that shit yeah, I can't even front yeah, yeah yeah we yeah, all know like, S10 two seater I was like fuck why is this guy dropped me off God damn I can walk dad <laughs> fuck yeah. um he listened to a lot of rock never really was influenced by rock I have to it's it's kind of one A one B for me like um in high school when I was really able to understand music I think Incubus slash Linkin Park I think Linkin Park was like mm. their hybrid mm -hmm. theory mm -hmm. album was like okay. the first like rap rock kind of like mm. what the so, fuck is this shit like a, maybe not first a well rap done rock, hybrid very well done hybrid but probably the first commercial hybrid and again you have to mm. credit MTV for having that yeah. platform to yep. to Absolutely. spoon feed this Word. group yo. to you like yo like 
And I don't, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I could say that they were the first to do rap rock, right? But I think they, like, again, Corn because maybe? of the, the plat, they, maybe it, they, they do rap, rap, rap rock? Yo. They, oh, um, oh, uh, House of Pain. House of Pain. House of Pain. So, but they, yes, uh, yes, but they, I, think, I still feel like House of Pain was still more hip hop than rock than anything. Personally. I think maybe yeah. you could, you could, you could, you could add the rock element because of the live instruments. And I think that's mm. the, that's a, uh, what people do when you you add live uh, live instruments and you think it's rock, but it's not. It's just like I think about again <laughs> black culture. Black music started with live jazz, like it's mm. live instruments. So mm. I think Lincoln Park was the one to to do it the way where it made it tasteful. MT, you had the, the the platform that was MTV slash TRL. Mm. You had the Collision Course with Jay Z. Like it just yeah. like their path just made so much sense. Yeah. So around I, that time, like the high school time, like I have to say Incubus slash Lincoln Park. In terms of rock influence, mm. um, you know, rest in peace, Chester, yo. Like, um, like Lincoln Park is 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 up there, rest dude. Like, Chester. yeah. Like, mm. I think it's um, you know, you guys were talking about mental health, you know, not too long ago, and mm. and y'all like, you know, Mac, Chester, um, those are like, I cried, dude. Like, I, mm. I legit like, g yeah. shit, like, and and it, and and I think it has a lot to do with the the connection of the music, the connection of the content, and and if you go back and listen to Lincoln Park's last Yo. album the the one i think it's called one more light mm. and you listen to the lyrics that chester's singing it's just like it's almost like yo like this guy was asking for help Damn. Mm. like like happen. like he was like in his in the music in the first track like he's asking for like the lyrics are just like you don't sit there and be like i think there's something wrong yeah and and dude like it, it's just like even now to this day once in a while i listen to that the the, the last album and it's just um it, it just hits me differently, yo. Like the mm. content and just the vulnerability of the content. Mm. And I appreciate, um, you know, we were talking about this off air downstairs about, mm. you know, my my goal with my platform. You know, granted, I don't, I'm I'm not verified. I don't have fifty thousand followers, sixty thousand followers, but I intend to start small and I intend to be very open and honest mm. with my platform, with my story. I intend to be vulnerable with my story. I find strength and vulnerability. And I think that's something right. that growing up, we weren't, um, I'm going on a, a tangent right now, but I, I think it's important for me, you know, to portray mm -hmm. myself this way. Um, I think growing up, we, we, we were taught that vulnerability is a weakness, mm -hmm. you know, and, and mm -hmm, I think I, I've found a lot of strength in being vulnerable and being honest with anybody in my life, men, women, my best friends, my relationships, my family. Um, and that's the kind of person, the kind of artist that I want to be. I, I want to be as unedited as possible. If you look at some of my last Instagram posts, it's about me losing weight with my shirt off. It's something I've never been comfortable doing. Mm. But I was like, you know, my sister, who's a personal trainer, she's like, yo, just do it. It's important. And I didn't understand how important it was until the messages I received, you know, where I talk about my most recent breakup where... I got broken up with like I tell people all the time I didn't want to be single like I, if mm. it was up to me I'd be in a relationship with this person right now but mm. obviously it wasn't meant to be and this is not the person for me and I have to mm. accept that um, but a lot of the stuff that I've created from to the t-shirt that I'm wearing that I intend to release to some of the music was all influenced by this person this breakup this relationship I have a mm. book coming out of a haiku book. Mm. Oh, hey, another a poet. Haiku, a haiku, right? Like a lot of like, and if people don't know what haikus are, it's it's a seventeen syllable um, Japanese poem, and mm -hmm. I wrote like over two hundred plus haikus That's while true. I was in this relationship. Yeah, it's five and, seven and five. And five seven five is usually the the normal format, mm -hmm. and it and you see in the book you see the roller coaster of damn love 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 damn shit is going bad damn ah oh, height 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 back. You wrote bad. it throughout the relationship. Throughout the relationship. Oh, throughout man. the relationship. So in the in the book the way. Like I really laid it out in the book the way that the relationship went. So you see the good, 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 and then you see the bad, and then you see the good, and then you see the bad. Like it's really a roller coaster ride. Oh. And out of fear, I've not released it. It's done. Like I could show you a a digital copy of the book. You know, mm. shout out to my my best friend and label mate um, Amber, who's helped me put the book together. Like it's done. Mm. Um, I think since this last chapter, trying to close the chapter, I've wanted to add more to it, but. I could release it right now and it, it would probably do well. Like I think people have read it and be like, yo, this is my favorite piece of work from you. Music, like including music. Like this is the most rawest and, and, and mm. yeah. And it, it means a lot, you know? So I, I say all that to say, man, I, I really hope that with my platform and, and music aside, I really want to, I think about legacy. I think about dying a lot. 
I can feel you on that. It's I think a, I think about know, dying a lot. It's I think about you try to push yeah. out. But no, I, you know what? I don't try to push out anymore. I think about really? like because cause, yeah, no, I can't because I feel like I have a responsibility as uh, as a son, as a brother, as an uncle, as a friend, um, as a hopefully potential partner. I feel like I have a responsibility to these people in my life um, to be who I am and to bring something to their lives. You know what I'm saying? Like I think about like if I if I die tomorrow, what did I what did I do? Mm-hmm. up until this point to leave a legacy behind what was my purpose did did i create anything that's going to leave an impact did i say anything that's going to leave an impact and uh you hear these sayings like yo live your life to the fullest and stuff like that and i think they've become so mm. taboo right, right that we right. don't even think about how is that what does it mean does what does it, it mean does, right? it, like, does like, it mean go to the party and live it up or does it mean and, 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 and it know? could mean that it doesn't it, 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 if if that's your life cool mm. like if, if if you're a part like for me it doesn't it mm. means it means like, like when my niece was born five years ago i was just like yo okay i just uh i don't want to die and not leave anything behind that's my story say what you need no that's yeah. a fire song too yeah, yeah. <laughs> no 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 but let let everybody know um, where they could find you yeah, like so, your handle social um, media uh my instagram is probably my main platform it's ledu and the broken it's l-e-d-o-u-x and the broken a-n-d the broken Spell um that. I think Twitter is uh, Ledoux underscore music. Um, yeah, man, I just I just love having fun with with my social media. I just really try to portray the person that I am. Everybody, like the in, not an inside joke, but I I love talking about confetti cake from Publix. It's <laughs> like, fire! Like oh, it's fucking amazing. And everybody's like, yo, why do you like every show you do? Why do you have confetti cake? And I feel like yo, like I think it's okay to celebrate yourself. Word, word. Like I, I like that that is the real reason why I have one. It's fire. I fucking love it. I'm a fat kid at, at heart, right? Mm. But I think I think you know every every performance I have, it's a it's a it's a, a marker. It's, it's a, a celebration. True. Like true, right, true. like. I'm performing for 60 people now. Who's to say like I'm performing for 60,000 people two years from now? Right. You celebrate that That's shit. True. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have public confetti cake when I'm so, <laughs> when I'm fucking performing for 60,000 people. It's gonna be the same shit. True. But celebrate I think it's yourself, I think exactly. I think it's important. Like I think you know, and just in life, like people are like, oh no no, you don't celebrate too soon. You gotta get here. This is your goal. Like, yeah, that's the fucking goal, but this is part of the fucking journey. So let's celebrate the fucking journey while we're trying to People always look in hindsight and be like, oh, I miss yeah, those I miss days. it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Let's celebrate yeah. every little yeah. fucking win that we get. Let's celebrate it, but let's not... Now, let's not lose focus of what the end goal is, but celebrate yourself as you're on this fucking journey. It doesn't matter if I'm performing at Gramps. If my end goal is AAA, I'm going I'm to celebrate when I perform at a fucking party, when I perform at Gramps, when I perform at the fucking Fillmore, when I perform at this venue. And then when I get to the AAA, we're going to have a hell of a fucking celebration. Word, right? word. It's just the truth. There's more confetti wait, cake we for everybody. We back on, man. We I'm down. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, word, the vibe was so good. We just, I don't even I know how long we, we talked. Yeah. We went on long. We went on long. We went on long. We went on long. So we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves. This is your boy, I Seen Black, a.k.a. Black Dynamite, a.k.a. Wade Bixby, a.k.a. You're going to hear the rest, except for Swiss Army Nigga. <laughs> Swiss Army Nigga. That's right. Swiss Army Nigga. Swiss Army Nigga. Harmonize the last no. <laughs> and it's your boy, Dramatic. Hey. <laughs> Wave Chappelle, a.k.a. Ooh. Wave McGrady, a.k.a. AKA Loud Pat Trover, a.k.a. Black Gala Fanatic. Cause I'm fat, funny, and I got a beard. Let's oh, go. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Flaco Zulu, a.k.a. Nicodemus, a.k.a. Sir Black Stallion III, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. A. No more a.k.a. Stop the fire. <laughs> Love, peace, and grease. Bye, y'all. Word, 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 word. Yo, the, <laughs> pest, <laughs> the pest. The pest. The pest. We'll talk about Let's that Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> we got to do another episode. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, introduce yourself. Uh, this is Ledoux and the Broken, aka the Real Cake Boss, aka the Wingstop Connoisseur, uh, aka your mom's favorite artist, mm. um, aka uh, what the fuck was the one you said? I'm Ledoux from us. <laughs> Boom. Wow. Wow. Hey, that was.